And a very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97's coverage of Belmont Basketball. We're live at Northeast Mississippi Community College. I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. We got, of course, the Kossuth Aggies and the Belmont Cardinals playing this afternoon. Right now, the Kossuth Aggies have made their way out on the floor. And, of course, both these teams uh, are going to be having to travel on Monday night. So regardless of what happens today, uh, you're going to have to travel. But uh, your team... Uh, you'll be playing a number one or a number two seed somewhere else. So it's going to be a, a tough task for either one of these ball clubs on the game Monday night. So we won't know till all the night's over uh, before everything has been settled on who's going to play who and where. But right now we're going to make sure we take care of business here tonight. Belmont and Kossuth, we got the boys game coming up right after this one. And, of course, all those games are going to be live on FM 97.9 AM 1430. Also, they're going to be on TV 12 and TV 97 and WRMGradio.com. Well, coming off a game that didn't go uh, too well for the Cardinals or the Lady Cardinals uh, this past Wednesday night, uh, they're going to have to really regroup and uh, come out and play much better basketball tonight. Kyle Suth is not a bad ball club, I can tell you that, so they're going to be tough uh, in this uh, game here tonight. Today's game, of course, is being brought to you by Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Also, Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant. They're down in Dennis. That's uh, Jeffrey Lachey and Stella Hickenbottom. Also, Gina McNatt, your tax collector on the broadcast, is the Belmont Lady Cardinals making their way out on the court. Also, Wildflowers, Unique Flowers and Gifts, making the game possible today, 454-1033. That is, of course, Missy and Dustin Brandon. Also, big shout-out today to Southside Auto Sales next to the car wash there in Belmont. Your owner, of course, is Joey Moore. Great selection of cars and trucks and SUVs. And I'll tell you what, if he hasn't got exactly what you want on the lot, he can find it and find what you're looking for at a great price. So just let him know that, hey, I'm looking for a uh, SUV or whatever you're looking for in particular, and he can take care of that as well. Once again, this WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97, Jack Ivey Live here, brought to you by Redmont Heating and Cooling. Uh, Patrick Brooks, don't forget 662-279-6569. Free estimates, new installs on uh, also he's state certified, he's licensed and bonded, and he is insured. Also, Daniel Sparks, a former Belmont Cardinal, making the game possible tonight, and we really do appreciate uh, Daniel Sparks for making the game possible tonight. Also, your District 21 representative, Donnie Bell, on a broadcast tonight. Uh, had a chance to talk to all the folks down at Twice Around Consignment uh, today, and they're excited about broadcasting on uh, our ball games here, and they said they had several folks come in and tell them they in, uh, heard their advertising, and we appreciate Twice Around Consignment. They're next to the Sonic in Belmont. They got clothes for everybody, got shoes, jewelry, decor, furniture, electronics, they also got you CDs and DVDs. They sell anything and everything, I promise you that. Great low prices on all kinds of designer brands available. You can find them on Facebook. Thank you once again for Mitzi Wood and Misty Hogan. And uh, also I want to remind you about a big 30% off sale coming up February the 23rd and 24th. 30% off on all clothes and shoes. That's right, 30% off at Twice Around Consignment, Highway 25 South. The hours are Thursday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday, 10 to 4. Once again, a big 30% off on Friday, the 23rd and the 24th. We got the Belmont Lady Cardinals warming up down below. Taking on, of course, the Kossuth Aggies today. And uh, I'd like for you to do me a favor right now. Uh, call a friend and let them know the game is going to be on today. You can uh, go to my Facebook page. I've got the link on there. And if you'll share that with your friends and neighbors out there, we surely would appreciate it. Uh, of course, Coach Chris Bird and uh, his ball club coming in here today. Uh, taking on the Belmont Lady Cardinals. Belmont will be in white. And the team in maroon today will be the Kossuth Lady Aggies. You folks listening back in Red Bay know Kossuth as well. Uh, Red Bay traveled over to Kossuth and played the Aggies over there during the season. Appreciate uh, all these folks that are making the game possible today, like EMI Inflatables and Fireworks. That's Mr. Eric McDowell. Good luck to the Cardinal side. Don't forget he's got bounce house combos. He's got water slides. He's got obstacle courses. The largest inventory in North Mississippi. Give him a call for your next event at 662-660-4029. I also want to thank Insurance Services with Miss Donnie De Trotter and Deborah Farr, your hometown agent, of course, making the game possible here today, whether it be home, life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, or much more. They have access to all your insurance needs, 454-0054. Of course, uh, I don't think any doubt that the Cardinals missed Carmen Payne the other night, but uh, I don't even 
as far as I know, Carmen is out for the rest of the season with that uh, broken collarbone, but uh, she's definitely missed. But I uh, know the Cardinals have uh, uh, got to uh, move past and try to come by to find somebody that can fill those roles of all the players that uh, uh, that are going to need to fill it to make it down to Jackson. So, uh, uh, so if you're getting opportunities to play and play more, you got to take advantage of that opportunity and, and let Coach Chris Hickenbottom and the uh, Cardinal coaching staff with Anna Brooke Page there know that you're ready to fill the slot. And when you get out on that floor, uh, play under control. Don't be turning that ball over and make you free throws. And, uh, and uh, we can move to another level and uh, move on a little closer to Jackson, Mississippi. But it all starts right here tonight. Of course, uh, the last opportunity is going to be Monday night if the uh, Cardinals want to go down to Jackson. The Cardinals are going to have to win that one on Monday night on the road somewhere. Appreciate realtor Keith Henley of Tommy Morgan, a Belmont alumni. Keith knows what it takes to get your home sold and where to find your next home. You can call Keith or give him a text at 662-213-5599. For all your real estate needs, henleyproperties.com. Also, Triple D's bucket service on our broadcast. That's Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They'll try to meet all your high reach needs, whether it's trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, or maybe cleaning a steeple. Make sure you see the man. Uh, Mr. Barney Dick, 662-279-7500. Also, Laugh and Learn Clubhouse and Prehouse. Your owner, Kevin Funderburk there. They're located, of course, on Highway 25 South. They accept ages six weeks to 12 years. And they're located at Highway 25 South in Belmont. You can call them at 454-9285. You can find them on Facebook at Laugh and Learn Clubhouse at gmail.com. Laugh and Learn Clubhouse. Once again, your owner there is Devin Funderburk. And I tell you what. Uh, you'd be very excited about having them take care of your kiddos. We're down to about three minutes. The captains are going to be meeting at uh, midcourt and uh, talking with the officials out there, Allie Taylor and Brianna Lynch uh, representing the Belmont Cardinals as far as captains. I do not know who the young lady is from uh, Kosuth for sure because they've got their uniforms uh, on. And, uh, and uh, Randall says he thinks it's Hold'em. It may be, but I, I don't want to guess wrong. You know what I mean? Do you know for a fact it's her? Oh, he don't know. I thought he might have saw a 22 or something there. So appreciate uh, Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo as we get, uh, like I say, about two and a half minutes away from the starting lineup. Gatlin's Pharmacy, of course, ask the question, are you spending too much out of pocket? Are you in a donut hole? Have you ever priced prescriptions at another store? Uh, also, we can give you some options to maybe save you money. See pharmacist Stanley Page at Gatlin's Pharmacy your Health Mart Pharmacy downtown Tishomingo. You can call them at 438-6605. Also a big shout out today to Econo Storage, Mr. Haskell Sparks, locations in Belmont and Tishomingo. Greg Collier, your fifth district supervisor, making progress one day at a time. Red Bay Hospital, Mr. Glenn Jones and the staff on a broadcast today. Farm Bureau agent Mike Harris by Nelson Metals. Mr. Ken Nelson buys all your aluminum, steel, copper, uh, cans, old jewelry. Ken Nelson, 454-7500. Also, D.C. Cycle Shop and Racing there in Red Bay. David and Katie Crane, your owners. They make horsepower, not excuses. Call 256-356-8911. Specializing in motor bills, dyno machine uh, is used to measure your horsepower and tune up the motors. He's got the track kit, certified Roadsmith track dealer. And for all your motorcycle and ATV needs, say David Crane down at D.C. Cycle Shop. It's in Red Bay. Alabama. Also, the Center Family Medical Clinic on a broadcast. Dr. Steve Center by the Belmont Hotel. Ron and Pat Deaton by Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end. If he can be of any assistance to you, don't hesitate to give him a call. Once again, your constable on the south end is Donald Ray Thomas. Also, Community Spirit Bank for all your banking needs. Make sure you see Mike Montgomery and the staff in Belmont, 454 one J.P. Bauman, your hometown state senator on the broadcast today, along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. Also, big shout-out today to Joe's In-N-Out, your full-service auto maintenance, located on Highway 25 South in Belmont, across from Tiffin Motorhomes Belmont Plant. Your owners are Joe and Michaela McKinney. You can call them at 662-479-5066. Open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. 8 to 1 on Saturday. And don't forget, they do all chains. They do tires, brakes, shocks, tire rotation, filters, wipers, general repair service, just about any other auto, truck, or service you can think of. And they provide the community and the surrounding areas with a high-quality auto service centering and fo focusing around 
you the customer and the best products available. Joe's in and out Highway 25 South in Belmont. We're going to have the national anthem, and I'm sure the starting lineup's coming up in just a second. We're going to turn it over to our public address announcer at that time for our national anthem. This is Belmont basketball. National anthem before this game gets underway. We got the starting lineups coming up. Brought to you by Island and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. Also, Mac Wam in your Tishomingo County Corner by Tiffin Motorhomes on our broadcast here today. And also on our broadcast today is Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collin. Once again, John Dennis Darty on our broadcast here today. Now the starting lineups for the Cosuth and Lady Aggies. Now the starting lineups for Belmont. The starting lineups for both ball clubs. Allie Taylor getting the start again tonight instead of, uh, of course, Carmen Payne, who's out with a broken collarbone. And she was in attendance the other night. I, I'm uh, looking out there, and I do see her. She's, of course, naturally in her street clothes out there. I know she would love uh, to be out there on her broadcast here tonight. If you're out there joining us, thank you so much for being on the broadcast here today. Uh, we appreciate uh, Belmont Pharmacy, Bill Donna Weatherford, and Pam Moore on our broadcast here today. Wood Industries, Jeff and Ingrid Wood and all the folks at Wood Industries. They are your manufacturer and distributor of top of the line quality air compressors and air tools and parts and accessories. Also Tri-State Insurance in Belmont and Red Bay. Kim and Calum Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser. That number Belmont, 454-3304. When you become a customer of ours, you become family. Also Med Express of Red Bay, Alabama, a big sponsor of the game today. We're ready to get this one underway. Belmont Cardinals in white and in the maroon is going to be the ball club from Kasuth. The tip is up and it is controlled uh, by the Belmont Cardinals. So Belmont will bring it down and set it up. Looks like they're going to play somebody as close as they can to number four. And you know who number four is? That is, uh, of course, Claire Maroon. Maroon brings that ball out to the top of the key, goes right side to Rooker. He'll take that ball down. Now to the left side to Maroon. Maroon looking, kicking it back out to Sarah Grace Berman, and the Cardinals will set it up. 7.29 to go. Rooker over to the left side to Sarah Grace Berman. These Lady Cardinals uh, would be the first to tell you that uh, they snuck it up on Wednesday night against those uh, new site uh, Lady Royals. Only got beat a small amount, but uh, just didn't play very well at all. Too many turnovers, missed free throws, just a lot of missed opportunities. And they want to try to uh, get back to the days of playing well, which they were up until recently. I mean, when I say recently, the last game. 
Shot on the baseline. The Cardinals are up. Good ball movement. Claire Maroon got it, and the Belmont Cardinals are up 2-0. So that was very good patience. Belmont held on to the ball about a minute before they got the shot they liked. Cardinals will come out with a man-to-man -man defense here. And now the Cardinals have got a steal. Allie Taylor is going to kick the ball out of bounds on the pass from Sarah Grace Behrman. So the Cardinals miss an opportunity there, but good try. So bringing that ball down. It looks like it's Presley Tice. No, it's not Presley Tice. Tice is in there. Number 41 over in the corner. We'll get that number here in just a minute. That's uh, Grace Stanford, number 14. Stanford on the ball, drives a little bit, cut off there by Rooker, brings that ball outside to 34. She'll drive in the paint, pulls up a jump shot, good. Number 34 is Elizabeth Ingram. She's a six-foot junior on the ball club for Kosuth, and she ties it up. Belmont will bring it down. Behrman across the timeline at the 6.05 mark. Today's game, of course, uh, brought to you by, I told you about Med Express of Red Bay, Alabama. That's Kayla Humphreys, the nurse practitioner, and Dr. William Bush. Sarah Grace Behrman with the basketball. Behrman keeps looking back over to coach over the sideline. She's going to have somebody pick that pocket if she ain't careful. Allie Taylor with the ball. Taylor back to the top of the key now, goes back right side. Into the lane, shot is up, no good. She's fouled. Allie Taylor, good penetration toward the basket. Today's game brought to you by Southeast Surplus. And so Kasuth is going to be charged with a foul. Allie Taylor's free throw is up. Got you bad news. It's no good. Grace Stanford, Morgan Hodum, uh, Kaylee Buns, Elizabeth Ingram, and Presley Tice starting. That free throw is up good. Allie did a really good job at the free throw line for the Cardinals the other night against, uh, back against New Sight. Three to two the score. New Sight and Booville playing for the championship tonight. That'll be about a seven o'clock start. There's a baseline jumper for Hodum. Her shot is up. It's no good. Hustling after the rebound. And it's out of bounds. Good hustle there by Hold'em and also Belmont Sarah Grace Behrman. 25 will do the inbounds. That's Kaylee Buns. Buns finally gets it into Hold'em. Hold'em on the right wing being guarded by Sarah Grace Behrman. We're at the 520 mark. Belmont right now with a 3-2 lead. Belmont the home team in this game. We're in the white uniforms. Inside to Tice. Tice right back to Hold'em. Hold'em inside the paint shot. No good. And getting the rebound is Claire Moon for the Belmont Lady Cardinals. Behrman will bring it down. Today's game brought to you by Eric Montgomery at Montgomery Construction Company. You can call Eric at 423-8425. Behrman gets a pass, drives it in the lane, up and no good. And the ball tipped out. It's going to go to Kasu. Also, Milligan Ready makes Old Highway 25 North. Best wishes to the Cardinals tonight. From Abby Clares, abbyclares.com. Of course, Natalie Griffin Cumber is the owner there. And also Mr. Edwin Bolden at Southeast Surplus. Hold'em drives around, drives down to the baseline. We'll have to kick it back out. About a 15-foot jump shot up and no good. The ball is going to be out of bounds. And it's going to go to the Kasuth Aggies. Cardinal fans wanted Kasuth on the back. 4.35 to go. We'll let you watch the replay and let you know what you think. They get it in over in the corner. Back out to number 14, handling the basketball is Grace Stanford. Over to Hold'em. Hold'em's on that left wing. She'll dribble it over toward the free throw line. She hands it off. 14. Stanford back to 41. Tice. Tice will kick it back. 34 drives. Kicks that ball back out again. Number 14, Gray Stanford penetrating, being guarded there by number 23, Rooker for the Cardinals. 4-11 to go. 3-2 to two the score. Belmont Cardinals with the lead. Hold'em. And Kasuth being very patient this trip down the floor as well. So both teams... Needing a big win here tonight. We'll see who comes out of here uh, with the toughest task on Monday. Both these teams will play Monday night on the road somewhere. But uh, the task is going to be pretty tough for either one of them because they're going to end up playing against a number one and a number two seed somewhere. So the loser of this game is going to play the number one seed somewhere. The winner is going to play a number two seed somewhere. Driving in, Stanford shot no good, and a foul against the Cardinals. They're going to get uh, the Cardinals number 23, Olivia Rooker. You know, with the having uh, Carmen Payne out of the ball game, the Cardinals have less depth as far as a lot of experience. And, of course, uh, when you start getting people in foul trouble, not that you, uh, you know, you just got players that hadn't played as much this, uh, this time of their career because they're very young. And uh, this free throw is up and no good. 
So Belmont will get the basketball on the rebound. Maroon with the basketball being guarded by Tice. And the ball stolen away. Bad pass by Taylor. Stolen by Hodum. Hodum goes down, kicks off to the backside for a layup for number 14, Grace Stanford. So Taylor's pass intended for Sarah Grace Behrman was picked off by Hodum. She took it down, had somebody fill in the lane on the other side, and Kasuth takes a 4-2 lead. Belmont to Allie Taylor. Taylor inside with a beautiful pass to Maroon. It's up and good. Great job there, Allie Taylor. Belmont's got a 5-4 uh, to four lead. Don't forget, if you'd like to send us a message and let us know you're enjoying the game, it's real easy. 423-7602. 662-423-7602. Hold them with the ball on the right wing. Belmont with a 5-4 lead. 2.35 to go in the first quarter. We're live at Northeast Mississippi Community College, and we have got a walk against Kasuth. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We appreciate you being a part of our broadcast here today. Today's game, of course, I told you, brought to you by Southeast Surplus, your steel power products headquarters. They are also your truck accessory headquarters. Edwin Bolton, 454-7484. And also a big shout-out today to Silver Dollar Grocery down in Golden, Mr. Rick Sparks. Sarah Grace Behrman back to Rooker. Rooker shoots the three. It's up. It's no good. Nobody rebounding for the Cardinals. Matter of fact, we had three white shirts out even past the top of the key. With a minute 59 to go, here's Kasuth with the basketball. Kasuth tie, or Stanford drives all the way in, puts it up no good. Good rebound by Rooker. And Rooker comes out of there with it, and the Cardinals have it with a minute 49 to go. Today's game brought to you by Brock and Criddle Insurance. That's Randy and Ricky Criddle, 454-9800. And also, Dunny Joe Sparks on a broadcast. Shot no good. Madison Sullivan into the ball game for the Cardinals. She's in for Allie Taylor. Sullivan hurt a an ankle as well, so Cardinals not only lost a player for the rest of the season, but uh, she's playing with uh, some ankle issues and uh, see if she can go better than she could go the other night. I'm sure it was bothering her big time the other night. Five to four, the score with a minute 19 to go. Sullivan inside and the ball almost stolen away, but knocked out of bounds by Kasuth Belmont. Will have it underneath their own basket. All brought to you by the Fish Place, Highway 25 South. Don't forget, open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 4 to 8. Belmont inside, shot up, no good. Rebound goes to the Kasuth Aggies. Maroon couldn't get that one to fall as it went off the back of the rim. 105 to go. Belmont leading 5 to 4. Low scoring game in the first quarter. Brought to you by Redmond Pharmacy and also your hometown, Piggly Wiggly. Hold them on the right wing, kicks it ball back out. Ingram is number 34 underneath there. The back to Hodum. She'll drive all the way in. Puts it up. No good. Rebound loose on the floor. We're going to end up having a jump, and that arrow is pointing toward the Kasuth Aggies. Appreciate Grace Long Real Estate over in Iuka, 423-5555, along with Sunshine Mills, Mr. Allen Bostick. They get it into Hodum. She's set up for the three, top of the key, and it's up and good. Morgan Hodum. The six-foot sophomore puts uh, Kasuth up 7-5, 34 seconds to go. This young lady can fill it up. She gets a chance. We're talking about Hodum. 7-5 to score, 28 seconds to go. Belmont with the ball left side, and now a bad pass, but it's lost out of bounds. Still going to go to Belmont. Behrman didn't get a good pass over to Maroon in the corner, and Kasuth almost got the steal. We're lucky that uh, that ball went out of bounds, and we'll belong back to Belmont. Behrman with the basketball, top of the key. Goes around her man, goes in for the layup, and it's up good. Good move to the basket there by Sarah Grace Behrman. 7-7 seven to seven the score, 10 seconds to go. Don't forget, we'd love to hear from you. 662-423-7602. Ingram with the ball, left side to Hodum. Hodum drives and turns it over, and the ball will go dead at the end of the first quarter. It's all tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. Belmont Cardinals 7 and Kasuth 7. We have played one quarter, brought to you by, uh, by Redbud Supply, Scotty Payne and also Mr. Mark Chumley. Napa Auto Parts in Belmont, Phil Terry and Brian there along with your hometown Piggly Wiggly. Also on a broadcast today is Mr. Runny Cook at your modern woodman agent in Belmont. You can call him at 423-8477. Touching lives, securing futures. We're talking Runny Cook at Modern Woodman. Also want to thank Sitch Trading Company, your Bush Hog Zero Turn More dealer, 425-4240025. Uh, He's got all your accessories as well at Sitch Trading Company on Highway 25 South. 
in Iuka. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here. Denise back at Control Center. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, I told you to uh, let your friends and neighbors know about the game. We'll recognize you in a little bit, but uh, we need to hear from you. You can send us a text, but you can't call. New site and Boonville girls in the finals and new site and Boonville boys in the finals as well. All tied up 7-7, 7.58 to go. With the basketball is Sarah Grace Behrman. Over to the corner to Maroon, back to Behrman. Behrman penetrates in, pulls up, a little jump shot on the right elbow, and it's up and good. Good job, Sarah Grace Behrman. It drew a lot of iron, but went in. So here comes Kai Suth down. Belmont with a 9-7 lead. Belmont needs to take control of this ball game. The lead 34 open for the three. It's up and no good. And they're going to get Berryman with a push off. I saw that from here. And let's see here. Jack Ivey. I am listening. 24 is Nana. And my sister's in Tuscumbia, Alabama listening. Of course, they're listening over in Little Rock, Arkansas. That's uh, Sarah Grace's relatives, and uh, we appreciate them. They've been checking us out a good bit uh, and listening to the games, and they really do enjoy listening to them, and we really do appreciate y'all listening over in Arkansas and also up in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Let's see here. Listen, down at Napa Auto Parts in Belmont, working, and Terry is taking a nap. So I don't know who's doing the working, but I'm going to say it's probably Phil because I saw Brian here. So appreciate y'all listening down at Napa and Belmont. Belmont's Maroon. Maroon, a little running shot up and no good. Rebound, Kasuth. It's a 9-7 Belmont lead, and Hold'em got the rebound. You can reach us once again at 423-7602 to let us know if you're enjoying the game. It's all made possible for folks like Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Now the Cardinals had it, and the ball knocked out of bounds. Going to go back to Kasuth. Kasuth will do the inbound with number 25. Kaylee Bonds gets that ball into Gray Stanford. Now to the left side, Hodum. Belmont has now got Brianna Lynch. No, I, talk, I take that back. Got Brianna Lynch on 25. Kaylee Bonds, Hodum being guarded there by Sarah Grace Behrman. Hodum at the free throw line right there, being guarded closely there. Kicks that ball back out. Stanford. Stanford penetrates a little bit. And the Cardinals got a steal. Guess who reached in and swiped that one? We're talking about Maroon. Down to Behrman, right side, Brianna Lynch. Long three-point shot by Behrman, up and no good. Rebound, put back, no good by the Cardinals, and a rebound this time to Presley Tice for Kasu. Belmont had the rebound, tried to put it back up. That was Rooker, just couldn't get it to fall. So Kasu back down the floor now. Stanford penetrates in a little bit. Now kicks it back in the corner. Back to the top of the key, running that ball down was 34. Ingram as that ball almost got away a little bit. We got 5.36 to go. We're in the second quarter. Kasuth with the basketball. Belmont with a two-point lead. Free throw line jump shot by Kasuth up and no good. And they're going to get Kasuth on the rebound. And they're going to get number 25 with that foul. That's Kaylee Bunn's charge with the foul. Higginbottom's Family Restaurant down in Dennis, Mississippi on our broadcast here today. Nine to seven the score. Behrman with the ball deep down in the corner. Dribbles that ball back out, now goes to Maroon. Maroon in traffic, puts it up no good. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Elizabeth Ingram is going to be uh, uh, charged with a foul. And Maroon's free throw is up. No good. So Maroon with four points in the ball game. She'll have another one coming here. Belmont's got a two-point lead, 9-7, to seven, with 5-11 to go in the second quarter. This one is up. It's good. <laughs> Belmont right now is two out of four from the line. Lead 10-7. 10-7 to seven. <laughs> Ten to seven the score. Kosuth with the ball. There's Holdem. Holdem penetrates a little bit. Shot is up. No good. Belmont with the rebound. Maroon got it. Out to Behrman. Belmont pushing it up the floor. Belmont lobbing that ball in, and guess who's got a layup? Claire Maroon. And now Kasuth wants a timeout. 12 to 7 Belmont, and uh, Belmont got out on the uh, run a little bit there, and I think it worked out. 
and uh, got an easy basket there. Good feed in there from Behrman to good hands Maroon in there. Maroon laid it in. Elizabeth Moore saying good luck to the Cardinals here today. And if you're out there listening, thank you so much for being a part of our broadcast. We want to say how much we appreciate all these great sponsors, of course, uh, for making these games possible. Once again, it's real easy. Uh, 423-7602. Want to say hello to Tad and Maria Maroon listening on the Chesapeake Bay up in uh, Chrisville, Maryland, listening to us to our broadcast. So, Tad, we appreciate you and Maria for listening in. I know you'd be proud of Miss Claire down here. Proud of her anyway, but I see she's doing an exceptional job. Gina McNatt, our tax collector for Tishomingo County on a broadcast. Cardinals coming out with some full court pressure. Here comes Kasuth. Kasuth pushing it up. Kasuth has the ball kicked, and Kasuth will still have the basketball underneath their own basket. So Kasuth gets it in and loses the ball. Now it's loose on the floor. Kasuth ends up with it. Maroon got it. And we'll kick it back out to the left side now. Hodum would love to get that shot off. She's a great shooter. Elizabeth Ingram now with the ball top of the key. They've moved Stanfield over on the right side. Give it back to Hodum. They'll hand it back out to Stanfield. Penetrates a little bit. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebound Madison Sullivan's got it. Madison brings you that good rebounding in there. Now she'll, she'll bump you around. Three-point shot by Belmont. It's way short by Brianna Lynch. Rebound goes to Kasuth, and Kasuth pushing it up the floor. Tice, pass a little high, but number 25 got it. Goes back to Tice. Tice put it up no good, and coming out of there with the rebound is Sarah Grace Behrman. Belmont pushing it up. 3.46 to go, 12 to seven Belmont lead. Sarah Grace Behrman thought about a three, didn't do it. 12 to seven, 3.36 to go, Behrman. Gets it back. Now the corner over here. The ball almost stolen away. Good job by Kasuth overplaying that ball a little bit. Three minutes and 24 seconds to go. Brianna Lynch with the ball on the left wing to Sarah Grace Behrman. Behrman tries to lob that ball in. I'm not sure where she was throwing that when it went out of bounds as she had intended it for Maroon, but uh, it went out of bounds. Brianna Lynch will check out of the ball game for a minute with 3.09 to go. Allie Taylor will check in. Here comes Kasuth down. Belmont still leading, by the way. The score is 12 to 7. 12 to 7 is your score. Long shot by Hodum. The three, no good. And out of bounds. And last touch by the Cardinals. Ray and Eva Kirk listening online today. Y'all can listen on 97.9 FM. Wouldn't even have to get on online over there. Ray may not even have a radio. You know Ray. And it looks like the ball club in Maroon. Kasuth has turned that ball over. They let that ball get in the backcourt. But we appreciate uh, Brother Ray and Miss Eva. We got a timeout here. Two minutes and 49 seconds to go. Second quarter, a low scoring game. It's Belmont 12 to seven lead. And if you out there want to say, uh, who else we need to say hello to? Blake Long said, go get the Cardinals a pair of wins. And uh, of course, he's working on some Northeast wins today. Don't forget about a big 30% off sale February 23rd and 24th at Twice Around Consignment on Highway 25 south of Belmont. And once again, that's 30% off all clothes and shoes. The big 30% off sale February 23rd and 24th, 24th of February. I also want to say thanks today to Wildflowers Unique Flowers and Gifts, Highway 25 South in Belmont, Missy and Dustin Brandon. Don't forget for all your Memorial Day needs, decoration flowers, funeral flowers, weddings, they do it all and do it with uh, something you'll be very proud of. 454-1033 gets you wildflowers. And also, big shout out to Mr. Joey Moore at Southside Auto Sales in Belmont. Allie Taylor, back to Rooker, back out to the top of the key to Sarah Grace Behrman. Belmont, Goes to the corner to Allie Taylor. Taylor driving in lots of traffic here, and she is going to be fouled. They're going to get uh, Hold'em with that foul there. So Belmont will play it underneath their own basket. Sarah Grace Behrman will do the inbounds. Behrman gets it into Allie Taylor. 
Back in the Behrman. Behrman puts it up. It's no good. She's foul. And let's see who she is going to be foul with. Number 34 is going to be charged with foul. That's Ingram. I know that's Ingram's second foul. So Behrman will go to the line and see if the Cardinals can make free throws. It's up. No good. Belmont is two out of five from the line today. And the next free throw is up. This is good. Belmont's hanging at that 50%. We're going to need to do better than 50 to win this ball game from the free throw line. 13 to 7 the score, 219 to go. The Kosu Thaggies and the Belmont Cardinals. Belmont with the lead. Hold them. Back out top of the key now, right side, Stanford. Belmont backing off a little bit. They'll they like to penetrate in, except hold them. Well, she'll shoot that three in a New York second. Behrman doing a really good job on her. 34 of the basketball, kicks it over the corner to Stanford. Stanford stops a little bit. Covered up there, and now finally she puts a shot up no good and draws her a foul. Rooker played so good of defense there for about 30 seconds on her, and uh, she didn't have nobody to throw it through, and then she ended up committing that foul. That would get her second foul of the game. Going to the line is Stanford, and her free throw is up and good. Grace has got three points in the ball game for Kasu. Today's game brought to you by Southside Auto Sales. Mr. Joey Moore, the next free throw is good. It's now 13 to nine, Belmont with a four point lead, Belmont with a basketball. Joey's got a great selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. You'll find what you want if you don't have it. He's located next to the Belmont car wash. Belmont Behrman shoots the long three. It's way out there. Good rebound by Allie Taylor. How she kept it alive, I don't know. That's a great job, Allie Taylor. Belmont with Rooker, back to Taylor. Belmont's got a work to get that ball into Maroon. She knows what to do with it. And there's Behrman. What a shot, but she couldn't get it to fall. It looked like it was going in, but it came right back out. That was a good move to the basket, though, by Sarah Grace Behrman. It just didn't go in. A minute 14 to go. Kosuth hanging around too close for comfort for me. 109 to go. We're in the second quarter. Live coverage here brought to you by Redmond Heating and Cooling. Mr. Patrick Brooks, Hodum, open for the three for a second. And Behrman got there, and she backed off of it and passed it off. Stanford back out top of the key, 54 seconds to go. This is playing exactly, I'm sure, like Coach Bird. He, he's tickled to death to only be down four right here if you asked him. There's a shot up and no good. Rebound goes to Kyle Suth. Hodum drives in. Hodum puts it up no good. Maroon with a rebound. And Maroon comes out of there with it. Hands off to Behrman, and here come the Cardinals. Today's game brought to you by Donnie Bell, your 21 representative, as Maroon will be charged with a walk. Kosuth will get it back with 29 seconds to go. Appreciate Donnie Bell, your 21 representative. Also, Daniel Sparks on the broadcast. And once again, a big shout-out to Twice Around Consignment, Highway 25 South in Belmont. That's Mitzi Wood and Misty Hogan. Long shot. It's up and no good by Kosuth. Belmont with a rebound. Maroon got it, down to Behrman. Behrman drives in traffic down the lane, puts it up. Good, good job, Sarah Grace Behrman. Behrman's got seven. Belmont leads 15 to nine. Don't give them a shot here, 3.8 seconds to go. And a long shot, no good. Belmont will lead 15 to nine. Belmont scored eight points in the second quarter. Kyle Suth only got two, and Belmont leads 15 to nine. Today's game, of course, uh, brought to you by EMI Inflatables and Fireworks. Mr. Eric McDowell, don't forget he's got your bounce house combos, water slides, obstacle courses, largest inventory in North Mississippi. Give him a call for your next event at 662-660-4029. Good luck, Cardinals, from EMI Inflatables and Fireworks. Also on a broadcast today is Insurance Services with Donnie DeTrotter and Deborah Farr. Whether it be home, life, health, auto, medical supplements, or much more, they got access to all your insurance needs at 454-0054. Also, Realtor Keith Henley with Tommy Morgan is a big sponsor today. Keith knows what it takes to get that home sold and maybe where to find your next one. 662-213-5599. If somebody else is not selling them, I promise you Keith is. HenleyProperties.com. Also, big shout-out today to Laugh and Learn Clubhouse and Pre-K. Your owner there is Devin Fondeberg. They accept ages six weeks to 12 years, Highway 25 South in Belmont, 454-9255. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service. Need some trees trimmed, maybe de debris removed? I promise you they can take care of you at Triple D's. That's Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick, 279-7500. 
Also, big shout out to Lady Gatlin's Pharmacy. They want to know if you're spending too much money out of your pocket or you're in a donut hole. If you ever price prescriptions at another store, come on by and let us see if we can save you some money. 662 438 6605. Also on a broadcast today is Econo Storage, your only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks has got your number there, 423-8767. Also, Greg Collier, your 5th District Supervisor on a broadcast, making progress one day at a time. Also, the Red Bay Hospital on a broadcast, Farm Bureau agent Mike Harris, by Nelson Metals, by DC Cycle and Racing in Red Bay. That's David and Katie Crane, your owners there. Dr. Steve Center at the Center Family Medical Clinic by Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end. Belmont Hotel, Community Spirit Bank by J.P. Wom and your hometown state senator. The Deaton Funeral Home by Peyton Cummings by Joe's in and out Oil change, tires, brakes, shocks, rotation, filters, wipers. You need service? They do it at Joe's in and out Highway 25 South, 662-479-5066. That's Joe and Michaela McKinney open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 1. Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast along with your factory authorized York dealer, Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling, Mac Wilde in your Tishomingo County corner by 4th Street Grill, John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff on a broadcast as well. We're at halftime, Belmont leads 13 to 9. 13 to 9. Our game also brought to you by Triston Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, and also Brenda Purser, Med Express of Red Bay with Dr. William Bush, by Jeff and Ingrid Wood at Wood Industries on, uh, in Belmont. Jeff and Ingrid's got the place there where they manufacture and are a distributor of top-of-the-line quality air compressors, tools, parts, and accessories. By Belmont Pharmacy, Bill Donald Weatherford and Pam Moore on our broadcast here today. Southeast Surplus, Mr. Edwin Bolden, your Steel Power Products Headquarters at 454-7484. By Abby Clares, at Natalie Griffin Cumber. She's got all your regular and plus sizes to take care of all your needs. Once again, that's abbyclares.com. Also, Millican Ready Mix by Eric Montgomery at Montgomery Construction. By Silver Dollar Grocery, to Rick Sparks and Golden. By Randy and Ricky Criddle at Brock and Criddle Insurance. By Dunny, Joe Sparks, your justice, uh, your justice uh, court judge on the south end. Also the fish place on uh, in Belmont there on Highway 25 South. They're open of course Thursday, Friday and Saturday 4 to 8. Now serving the best catfish and chicken fingers around. Sunshine Mills along with Grace Long Roast Day. Your hometown Piggly Wiggly on our broadcast here today. Also making the game possible today is Redmond Pharmacy. H&R Block of Iuka Red Bay Fulton by Napa Auto Parts in Belmont. By Red Bud Supply by Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne. Also, Runny Cook is your modern woodman agent all on the broadcast here today. Also, don't forget uh, the folks like it, Sid's Trading Company, 424-0025. Sid's Trading Company, of course, is your Landmaster utility vehicle dealer. Landmaster utility vehicle comes in different sizes, shapes, and forms. And if you need one just to knock around in or do some heavy-duty stuff, they do it great at Sid's Trading Company. We're going to take a break. We got 15 to 9, the score, 15 to 9. Belmont is on top. And looks like Kasuth will get the ball to start the second half. Kasuth will get the ball to start the second half. Once again, Belmont leads at halftime. The score, Belmont 15, Kasuth 9. This is Belmont basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy, Randall Lindsay ready for the second half. Belmont and Kasuth. Kasuth going to get the ball to start the second half. Brought to you by Davis Ford in Fulton, Mississippi. By Hickenbottom's Fan and Restaurant. Don't forget that's Lachey, Jeffrey, and Stella Hickenbottom. And don't forget uh, on Sunday the lunch buffet. Of course, on Friday and Saturday night is seafood buffet night from 4 to 8.30. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant. And we really appreciate their business. Gina McNatt, your tax collector on our broadcast tonight. Along with Southside Auto Sales, Mr. Joey Moore. We're back to action. 15 to 9. We'll see what uh, the teams do different. Hold them with the ball on the left. Elbow there, kicks that ball back out to Ingram. Over to Stanford, and of course, uh, Stanford drives to the free throw line, kicks that ball down to the baseline. Now back to Stanford, she'll penetrate in, try to kick it out and does to 25, Buns. Buns falls down with the basketball, gets loose of it, kicks that ball down, and now they'll kick it right back out, 7.30 to go. Good ball movement. 34 with the basketball, Ingram. Had it now to 25, her shot up no good. Belmont running down the rebound, good hustle there 
by Olivia Rooker. Here comes the Cardinals. Great defensive effort that time down the Belmont. Costuth held on to it about 40 seconds before the Belmont Cardinals got the rebound after the missed shot. Behrman with the basketball over to Rooker. Rooker down to the corner to Maroon. Bow back to Rooker. I'd figure out a way to get that ball into Maroon every opportunity I could. Somewhere down close to that basket, we got a whistle, and we're going to have a foul against the Cardinals pushing off. And then a little illegal block there by Madison Sullivan. 15 to 9 the score. Here comes the Kosuth Aggies with the basketball. Don't forget, we'd love to hear from you. 662 423 7602. 662 423 7602. Behrman's got a steal. Goes to the layup. She missed it, but guess what? She was fouled big time by Hodum. And that'll be Hodum's second foul in the game. That's really pretty big with 6.40 to go. She's uh, probably their, no, no doubt about it, she's the leading scorer in the ball club. And the Cardinals get a chance to score here. They're up 16 to nine now as Behrman's free throw is up and good. Behrman had two, four, six, seven in the first half. Now she's got eight. This one's up, it's good. Claire Maroon's got uh, seven. Allie Taylor's got one. So not much scoring going around. We got to get some scoring out of Olivia Rooker and got to get some scoring out of, uh, of course, Brianna Lynch. We know if they can get Hall, hit those threes. There's Holdem's long three up and no good. Belmont had the inside position. 34 was on the Cardinals back, no call. Now they drive it in the lane shot, no good. Belmont's got it. Good job by Maroon. Kicking it out to Behrman. Behrman pushing it up. Behrman in traffic. Maroon and her collided, but no call. That would, have been, uh, that would have been Hodum's third foul, but no call on that one. Cardinal fans kind of upset there. Belmont kicks it in the corner, and there's the Cardinals going for the layup. It's up and good. You know who got that one? Olivia Rooker. I told her I needed it, and we got it. 19-9 to the score, five minutes and 50 seconds to go. Win the third quarter. Belmont's got a 10-point lead, 19-9. to Long three-point shot, and it's up and good by Costa. Kaylee Bunge knocked down the three, the second three of the day for Kasuth. And that 19 to 12 lead now for the Cardinals. That was a big three for Kasuth. Belmont had stretched that lead out to a 10 point lead, double digits here. Maybe the Cardinals can uh, get those points back right here. Belmont right side to Sullivan. Sullivan dribbles that ball all the way out to the top. Drives all the way toward the basket, lays it up off the glass. Good, great job, Madison Sullivan. 19, make it 21 to 12. 5-10 to go. Jack Ivy, Randall, Lindsay here, all brought to you by Wildflowers, Unique Flowers and Gifts on Highway 25 South in Belmont. Three-point shot blocked by the Cardinals, and they're going to get a foul on Belmont. They're going to get Maroon with a foul. to 21-12. Belmont blocked the shot. It didn't go very far, and uh, Belmont was going after a, I guess, loose ball, and they got uh, Maroon with a foul there. And Maroon blocked another one. This time it's controlled by the Cardinals' Olivia Rooker, and she's going to be tied up by number 14. A lot of folks thought that was a foul, but uh, Belmont's still going to get it with the arrow in their favor. 21-12 to 12 Belmont. Belmont with the basketball. Belmont will be on the road Monday night regardless somewhere, and we'll be there with them, good Lord willing. And the boys will be on the road Tuesday night somewhere, unless they happen to play a common opponent, same opponent. Three-point shot by the Cardinals, no good. Tipped out of there. Rooker ended up with it. Back to Behrman. Behrman drives down. Oh, drives over to the right side. Stops. Looks. Now inside. Down the back door. There is Sullivan with a basketball and a basket good. Good job, Madison Sullivan. Good job, Claire Maroon and the Cardinals. Little one-two pass in there. Started out with a Rooker pass to Maroon, and she dipped it off to Sullivan. Long three points got Kasuth. It's out of bounds, and Belmont's going to have it, leading 23 to 12. Don't forget about a big 30% off sale February 23rd and 24th on Highway 25 South in Belmont at Twice Around Consignment. And you can go on Facebook and find them at Twice Around Belmont. Four o'clock. Minutes to go, 23 to 12, the score. Behrman with the basketball, over to the right side to Rooker. Rooker penetrates a little bit to the top of the key, hands off to Madison Sullivan. 
Sullivan, all oh, inside of Behrman. Behrman's open. Behrman puts it up, no good. Behrman got the rebound, tried to go back up, no good. She's foul. And Belmont, who leads 23-12, will see Berryman go to the line to shoot free throws, and Berryman's free throw is good. Drew a lot of iron. Two, four, five, six, eight, ten points now for Berryman. And she's got another free throw here. Belmont leads by 12, 24 to 12. Next free throw, but Belmont is up and good. 11 points now for Berryman. 25 to 12, the score. Belmont has got Ashton Swader into the game for the Cardinals. With the basketball, Hodum. Hodum kicks that ball back out, 25. Now kicks it back out to Stanford. Stanford will back that ball back out as the Cardinals cut them off. They uh, put in number 20 into the ball game. That's Madison Starlin. Now the Cardinals get a steal. Behrman down to Sullivan. Sullivan for the layup. It's blocked. Following Bind. Bind is Swader. Swader put it up no good. Now the ball loose, picked up by the Kasuth Aggies. And Kasuth down, and she walks with the ball. Give it back to Belmont. Belmont has got Berryman, Olivia Rooker. You got uh, Ashton Swader. You got uh, Madison Sullivan and Claire Maroon on the floor. I know Ashton's folks out in Colorado. I haven't heard from them, but I know they're always listening out there. Rooker with the ball, and we got a foul against Belmont. Offensive foul. You've got to be kidding. So they're going to get an offensive foul against Claire Maroon. 25 to 12. And now they run over Rooker, uh, not Rooker, but Berryman, and that's uh, that's going to be a tough call there for Coach Bird because guess what? That's uh, Morgan Hodum's third foul of the game. <laughs> and now Coach Bird <coughs> not agreeing on that other end. So now the officials got them both ill at them. 25 to 12. 25 to 12. Number 10 in the ball game is Faith Williamson. Behrman driving in traffic, puts it up off the glass, good. Good job by Sarah Grace Behrman, good penetration, 13 points for her. Belmont taking control of the ball game with 2.30 to go, and Kasuth wants a timeout. Belmont 27, Kasuth 12, 27 to 12. You got your home for Belmont basketball. We're WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Today's game brought to you by Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. Mr. Daniel Sparks, of course, making this game possible here today. I also want to thank Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative, by twice around consignment. Highway 25 South, that's Mitzi Wood and Misty Hogan. Great low prices on all types of de designer brands. And they got decor, they got furniture, they got jewelry, all types of clothes and shoes. Make sure you tell them you heard about it right here with the Ivy Man. Also, Mr. Eric McDowell at EMI Inflatables and Fireworks. Got your bounce house combos. You got your water slides, obstacle courses. Largest inventory, by the way, in North Mississippi. No doubt about it. He's got a ton of them. Your next event, you need to book it. Give him a call, 662-660-4029. Good luck to the Cardinals from EMI Inflatables and Fireworks. Back to action. Costume for the ball. Hold him out there. She's playing with three fouls. 27 Belmont, 12 for the Kosuth Aggies. Hold them with the ball. They back her up a little bit. She'll shoot the three, block by Berryman, and controlled by Belmont. Good job by Berryman getting the block and Claire Maroon getting it. Belmont works that ball right side to Sullivan. Sullivan drives the baseline, <laughs> drives in, no good, gets her own rebound, starts to go back up, and draws the foul. It was an awesome job there by Belmont's uh, Madison Sullivan. Come on, Anderson. And the free throw is up, and it's no good. Come on, Madison. Madison's got four points in the ball game. And the next shot is about to be put up in the air. It's up. It is no good. Rebound, Ashton Sweater coming out of nowhere to get it, but they knocked it out of her hand, and it went off her hand. Great hustle, Ashton. Good try. I mean, Ashton hustling all over the court big time on that one. 27 to 12, here comes Kasuth with the basketball. Don't forget, we'd love to hear from you. 
423-7602. Shot by Kosuth and Ogood. Our number once again, 662-423-7602. Let us know if you're enjoying the game. Don't forget we got the boys game immediately after this one. Cardinals turn that ball over, 27-12, and Kosuth got it right back with a minute 26 to go. Oh, Ray and Miss Eva Kirk out there, they're traveling around. Said they haven't listened to it on the phone where they're at. Now we're going to have a jump by the Cardinals. Olivia Rooker and number 10 rolling around on the floor. And that's Faith Williamson. They're pretty big out there on the floor right now. We're talking, uh, they just brought in 31, Lydia Lee. She's six foot. They're trying to match up height wise inside. <coughs> There's Hodum. Kicking it back in the corner, they'll shoot a long three. It's no good. Rebound comes off long. 31 out there. Lydia Lee is six foot. Presley Tice is uh, six foot. Uh, 34 out there. Well, they're all six foot. Long shot is up. It's no good. Running down the rebound in the corner for the Cardinals is going to be Ashton Sweeter. Actually, they're not all that tall. I was just saying that. Belmont in the maroon. Maroon drives the baseline, puts it up good. Great move to the basket by Claire Maroon. Maroon's got two, four, six, eight, nine points, 29 to 12. You cannot put all the scoring on the shoulders of Claire Maroon. You've got to have the scoring like Sarah Grace Behrman today. You're going to have to have Madison Sullivan come in and get you a point here. You're going to have to have the Brianna Lynch's and the Rookers and the Behrman's all uh, sharing the load on points. So if you put all your hands in one basket, you know, they're going to they don't figure out a way to shut down one player. Good block there by Behrman and the Cardinals have got it back with 10 seconds to go. And Sullivan is going to be fouled down in the corner with seven seconds to go. So Belmont will take it in with seven seconds to go. Olivia Rooker will do the inbounds. Rooker gets it into Behrman. Behrman on the baseline, goes into Maroon. Maroon goes onto the opposite side of the basket, puts it up no good. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Let's check the foul here. And 41 is going to be charged with a foul. That's Presley Tice. No, Gene Thorne said we're coming in good on TV 12. And he said the girls are doing good. You write that. Free throw is no good. She'll have another one coming. This one is good. So she makes one out of two. Belmont leads 30 to 12 with 2.9 seconds to go. And Kasuth not even going to be able to get a shot off. So Belmont has a excellent third quarter. And uh, right now, Belmont leads uh, 30 to 12. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And once again, brought to you by Don Eater Trotter, Deborah Farr at Insurance Services down in Dennis, Mississippi. They got access to all your insurance needs, 454-0054. Whether it be home, life, health, auto, or Medicare supplements or much more, it's insurance services with Donnie DeTrotter and Deborah Farr. Also, Mr. Keith Henley with Tommy Morgan, a big sponsor of the game. Go to henleyproperties.com. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They can take care of all your tree trimming and debris removing, stump grinding. 662-279-7500. Also, Laugh and Learn Clubhouse and Preschool. The owner there is, of course, Devin Funderburg. They accept them little bitty down six weeks up to 12 years. Highway 25 South in Belmont, 454-9255. They do a wonderful job at Laugh and Learn down in Belmont. Belmont with the ball to start the fourth quarter, leading 30 to 12. Rooker driving in traffic, kicks it out to Behrman. Behrman shoots a three in the corner. It's no good. Running down the rebound on the other side is Madison Sullivan. Sullivan off balance, tried to kick a pass out and threw it to Hodum of uh, the other team. Hodum shoots a long three, it's up, it is no good. Rebound, pulling down that rebound, and she's fouled is uh, Claire Maroon. Maroon got the rebound, she was fouled. So Belmont's gonna walk to the other end of the floor and shoot a free throw. Don't forget that we got the boys game coming up right after this one here on WRMG. Call your friends and neighbors to tell them to turn it over. They may have just got off work. Tell them they can listen to this game live. Claire Maroon's free throw 
is up and good. She'll have another one coming. She's got two, four, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven points in the ball game. And this one is up. It's no good. Rebound goes to Kosuth. Belmont leads 31 to 12. 7.23 to go. Hold'em at the top of the key. Drives to the right side, kicks it back to Stanford. Stanford drives a little bit. Coach Chris Bird does a wonderful job over at Kosuth, as well as Belmont's coach Chris Hickenbottom down at Belmont. Over 300 wins for a coach down at Belmont. That's a big time task right there to pull off that off in 12 years. Over 300 wins down at Belmont. Congratulations, Coach Chris Hickenbottom. Coach Donnie Roberts, his career coming to a close yesterday at 886 wins. And they lost to Cold Springs yesterday. And a great effort, but just couldn't get the win. There's a little baseline jumper on the right side, number 25 by Kasuth. Makes the basket, her fifth point of the ball game. That's Kaylee Bonds. Belmont's got a 31 to 14 lead. 31 to 14 lead. Rooker with the ball. On the right side, dribbles, kicks it back to Swader. Swader back out to Sullivan. Sullivan almost had that pocket pick. Behrman's got it. Behrman's going to be tied up. And the error pointing in favor of Kasu. 34 checking back in for Kasu. Is Elizabeth Ingram. Uh, 31 will check out. That's uh, Lydia Lee for Kasu. Still a lot of time, 31 to 14 the score. Belmont basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting, and they drive in, put up a shot up, no good. Rebound comes off long, and now Kasuth's going to turn it over, and that ball's going to get out of bounds, and Belmont will have it. Belmont and Kasuth boys coming up after this one here on WRMG. Brought to you by Greg Collier, your fifth district supervisor. By Econo Storage, Mr. Haskell Sparks down in Belmont and Tishomingo. Don't forget Gatlin's Pharmacy, Mr. Stanley Page on a broadcast. Belmont into Behrman. Behrman in lots of traffic inside the lane. Puts it up no good. Rebound goes to Kasuth. 31-14. Behrman had a pretty good look, but just couldn't get her to fall. 34, Ingram on the left wing. Thought about a three. Sullivan came on out on her. Long shot is a three-pointer by, oh, Hodum and it's up and good. Morgan Hodum gets her sixth point of the ball game. It's now 31 to 17 with 5.30 to go. Behrman with the basketball off to Rooker. Rooker drives, goes around Hodum. Hodum's all over and over to the left side to Sullivan. Sullivan, now Hodum is gonna pick up her fourth foul. So if Belmont as Randall was saying over here, can make free throws. Belmont's uh, going to get a win here, 31 to 17. And the free throw is up no good. The question is if they can make free throws. Belmont has missed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven free throws today. 31 to 17. Ingram with a three on the right side. It's up and good. So they've hit two big threes, and now Belmont only leads by 11. Kasuth gets a timeout. It's 31 now to 20. And with four minutes and 58 seconds to go. Coach Chris Hickenbottom talking to the team out there. Belmont basketball live here today. Brought to you by the Red Bay Hospital. Don't forget their emergency department is uh, emergency room board certified physicians for 24 hours a day. They got your language interpretive services free of charge. Visit Red Bay Well Care at the hospital as well. Open Monday through Friday, 5 to 9, and on Saturday, 8 to 12. Also, I want to thank uh, the folks like Farm Bureau agent Mike Harris, 454 9624, life, home, health, auto disability, of course, Medicare supplements, tax deferred annuities, and much more. Once again, that's Farm Bureau agent Mike Harris and Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals on a broadcast, 454 7500. Oh, David and Katie Crane, the owners of DC Cycle and Racing over in Red Bay, Alabama on a broadcast. He specializes in motor bills. He's got that dyno machine used to measure the horsepower and tune up motors. He's got your trike kits as well. DC Cycle in Red Bay, Alabama. Belmont will get it, 4.58 to go in the game. Belmont needs a basket. <clears throat> 
no turnovers, make free throws. And he got a good chance of getting out of here with a win. Because you know Kaisu is going to turn up that defense big time. Belt now with Ashton Sweater. You got uh, Bearman. Claire Maroon. Belmont, not a good pass there by Bearman trying to hit uh, Claire Maroon in a lot of traffic there. Long shot, top of the key, up and no good. They got a rebound. They take it back up, and they're going to get a foul against the Cardinals. Who did get Swader on that one? Or was it Rooker? 31 to 20, they're going to the line. The bad thing about it is they're going to have a chance to score with the clock stop, but I got you good news for your Cardinal fan out there. The free throw is up and no good. 31 to 20, she's shooting two. This one is up. It is no good. Belmont with a rebound. Claire Maroon got it. And the Cardinals will bring it down. There's Behrman. Left side to Sullivan, now to Rooker. Rooker's on the left wing. Back out to Maroon. Swader back over to Maroon. Belmont's got everybody around the perimeter. Got Behrman driving down to the baseline. And she is going to be fouled by number 14, Gray Stanford. So Belmont will go to the line with 3.53 to go, leading 31 to 20. We will be, good Lord willing, live. Wherever the Cardinals are at on Monday and wherever the Belmont boy Cardinal team is on Tuesday. Behrman's first free throw is up and good. She'll have another one coming. This one's big. I'm telling you, it's up and good. She made them both. So she has got two... Five, 15 points in the ball game. You need 15 out of Behrman every game. She is capable of giving it to you every night. So Nana, when you talk to her tonight, say Jack Ivey said, we need 15 out of you every time you hit the floor. 33 to 20, 33 to 20. They'll shoot a long three, it's up, it is no good. Rebound, she got her own and put it up, good. I don't know how in the world she got in there and done it, but she did. 33-22, got a block out, kiddos. 33 to 20. That girl shot a long three and managed to get in there and get a rebound. Now, Olivia Rooker is going to be charged not only a turnover, but a foul. She was trying to hold the girl off to get the loose ball. So, Kasuth will play it with 3.11 to go. 33 to 22 with 3.05 to go. They kick it out. Need some clock to run off, so play good tight defense. Don't give them a, something easy. Gray Stanford with the basketball. Kicking the ball back out to Hodum. Hodum penetrates, now kicks it back out. Ingram, and Ingram's pass going to be almost thrown away, but they pick it up. They shoot a long shot. It's up no good. Belmont with a rebound. And Sarah Grace Behrman's got it with 2.35 to go. Belmont with an 11-point lead. Behrman drives down to the baseline, and she is going to be fouled by number 34. That's Elizabeth Ingram going to be charged with a foul, and I believe that's it for her. Number 20 will check back in. Madison Starling. So Belmont right now in a pretty good position to get out of here with a win, leading 33-22. Behrman at the line for the Cardinals. Madison Sullivan with four points in the ball game today. Claire Maroon with 11, one for Allie Taylor, two for Olivia Rooker. And the free throw is up and good. 16 points for Sarah Grace Behrman. And the free throw is up by Behrman, it's up and good. Allie Taylor getting ready to check back into the ball game. And Olivia Rooker will check out. Huh? Oh, yeah, Carly Taylor. What did I say, Allie? That's her sister. That was close enough, wasn't it? it they're both Taylors, but nah, I'm, Carly would shoot me. So Carly Taylor checked into the ball game for the Cardinals at 2.22 to go. Long shot by Kasuth up and no good. Kasuth, Stanford got the rebound, kicked it back to Hodum. Hodum penetrates a little bit, drops it into Tice. Now back to Hodum. Hodum shoots the long three. It's going to be short. 
Tyesh for the rebound for Kasuth. She puts it up, and the Cardinals are going to be charged with a foul. They're going to get the foul to Claire Maroon, and they will go to the line and shoot Presley Tyesh with. Tyce has not been at the line today. No points in the game, and her free throw is short. 35 to 22. 35 to 22. I was just Cardinals young ball club, only two seniors. Uh, of course, Brianna Lynch and Allie Taylor. And that free throw was good, so she made one out of two. Belmont will bring it down. I'm surprised Kyle Suth is not putting more pressure on the Cardinals, bringing it down, trying to get some turnovers, but uh, they're down 35-23 with a minute 55 to go. Carly Taylor, Madison Sullivan out to Berryman. Berryman being guarded close there by Grace Stanford. There's Carly Taylor with the ball. Carly almost walked and she does. And we have got a timeout with a minute 39 to go. Belmont leads 35 to 23. It is a full timeout. Thirty-five to twenty-three with a minute and thirty-nine seconds to go. Don't forget, we got the boys' game coming up after this one. We'll take a little uh, short break in between, but uh, not much while we get our rosters all situated away. You know, today's game brought to you by Community Spirit Bank in Belmont, four five four zero 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 one. Mr. Mike Montgomery and all the crew there. J.P. Wam and your hometown state senator, Donald Ray Thomas, of course, on the broadcast here today. He is, of course, your constable on the south end. Uh, Tishomingo County, good luck to the Cardinals from Donald Ray Thomas. Also, the Belmont Hotel running Pat Deaton on our broadcast. The Center Family Medical Clinic by the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Band Belmont. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancellor. Also by Joe and Michaela McKinney. Don't forget, they do all your oil change, tires, brake shocks, tire rotation, filters, wipers, just general repair service to just about anything on an auto truck that you, you can do of when it comes to service. The name of the place is Joe's in and out Highway 25 South in Belmont. Shot is up no good as we're back to action and a foul against Belmont. So make sure you tell Joe and Michaela that you heard the ad right here on WRMG. 662-479-5066. So going to the line to shoot free throws is going to be Hold'em, and her shot is up and good. She's got seven points in the ball game. 35, Belmont, 24 for Kasuth. Kasuth with another free throw. It's up good. Now Kasuth comes out with full court pressure. Behrman, double team to the backcourt, dribbles around everybody. It foul big time. I can't believe that. I mean, a terrible call. Now they foul, uh, foul uh, Claire Maroon. So, uh, so the score 35 to 25, they fouled big time in the backcourt. And the Cardinals will go to the line, Claire Maroon. Claire's free throw is up and good. She'll have another one coming, it's up and good. Belmont leads 37 to 25 with a minute 21 to go. The Cardinals are gonna get out of here with a win. But uh, we'll play Monday night. I think the time's going to be 7. We will be with the Lady Cardinals. Monday night will be the boys for Belmont on Tuesday night. Right now, that's when they're scheduled. Now the Cardinals are charged with another foul. Madison Sullivan. Allie Taylor getting ready to check back into the ball game. You know, Brianna Lynch checked out earlier. I don't know where she is. she sick today or? She may be under the weather. Madison Sullivan will check out. Allie Taylor will check in. Starlin's free throw is up, it's good. That'll make it 37 to 27, 10 point lead. Belmont with the basketball, Rooker. Back to Behrman. Behrman bringing it down and they foul her with 102 to go. Let's see if uh, the Cardinals can make some free throws here. Should be a double bonus. And the free throw by Behrman is up and no good. 
So the Lady Cardinals want to make it interesting this last minute. And next free throw is up. It is good. 18 points now for Behrman. Belmont leads 38-27. Hold'em over to Starlin. Starlin over to Stanford. Stanford's long three, no good. And the ball out of bounds. Give it to the Belmont Cardinals. So Belmont will take it in, 50 seconds to go. Belmont gets it into Behrman. If Behrman will wait about a half a second, they'll foul her, and they did. We have got, of course, Belmont boys, Kosuth boys playing next, and, of course, later tonight it'll be New Sight and Boonville girls playing for the division championship, and Belmont New Sight, or New Sight and Boonville boys playing on the boys' side for the championship. 19 points now for Berryman. Maybe she'll make this one and get 20. She's had really a really a good game. And the next free throw is up. It's good. 40 to 27. And Belmont with 46 seconds to go. Back on the defensive side. Shot blocked by Allie Taylor. Controlled by Allie Taylor. Out to Berryman. Berryman pushing it up. Down to number 23, Olivia Rooker. And Rooker's got the left-handed layup. Belmont 42-27. Gray Stafford, shot to right side up and no good. Belmont will have the basketball. You know, if you have Maroon having what she's capable of and you get a decent night out of uh, Behrman scoring and get Lynch and Rooker and all the others out there playing what their capabilities are, Belmont's a pretty tough team to beat. But if you all show up on a given night and uh, and you're having a night like the DVS New Site the other night, of course, I know Coach Byron Sparks a, Probably thinks his team and Newsite didn't have a good game, and I didn't think they did either. It just really wasn't a fun game to watch. Behrman will go to the line for the Cardinals with 22 seconds to go. Carly Taylor will check into the ball game. Ashton Schwader will check out. And now the timeout by the Kosciuth Lady Aggies. Once again, we'd love to hear from you. The three is 423-7602. Make sure you go to my Facebook page and share that link so everybody will know where the game is. And if they want to join us for the boys game here in just a little bit. Once again, our number, 662-423-7602. 662-423-7602. You know who that is singing, Randall? Mr. James Taylor. <laughs> 42 to 27, 42 27. And hopefully we're still sounding good where you're at tonight. Uh, today's game brought to you by Harden Heating and Cooling. That's old Allen and Ash by Tiffin Motorhomes. We're going to shoot another free throw. It's in and out, no good, and a foul against Belmont on the rebound. Carly Taylor is going to be charged with a foul. So we only got 21 seconds to go. Belmont leads by 15, 42, 27. And the free throw by... The ball club from Kosuth, no good. Kosuth will rebound back to the free throw line. They shoot a bank shot. It's up and good. Yes, right, a bank shot from the free throw line. It went in good for Madison Starling. Here comes Belmont. Olivia Rooker with the ball. Rooker has the ball stolen away with seven seconds to go. And now it looks like Kosuth's going to turn it over with two seconds to go. So Belmont's going to get it back. Belmont's going to win this game. The boys' game is coming up. Like I said, we're going to take just a little break. Thanks to Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast here tonight. Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. Belmont's got it in, and that's the ball game. Belmont Pharmacy, thank you so much. Jeff and Ingrid Wood at Wood Industries, thank you so much for making the game possible here tonight. Belmont 42 to 29 lead. And now the 42 29 win as the clock goes to all zeros. Once again, that is going to wrap up the girls' game. Stay tuned. We've got the boys' game coming up next. Once again, it's Belmont and Kosuth boys. 
So Belmont will play on Monday night somewhere on the road. Belmont boys going to play somewhere on the road tonight. I can't tell you who it is tonight because I think some other teams have got to play before we can find that out. Here come the Belmont Cardinals. Kasuth has already made their way out. Stay tuned. We got the tip off and the starting lineup for that uh, next game right here. Belmont and Kasuth coming up. This is Belmont basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy Randall Lindsay back after a big Belmont Lady Cardinal win, 42-29. It's time now for the boys action. It'll be Belmont boys and Kasuth. Now to our public address announcer. First, the starting lineup. Number 10, Kennedy Dye. Number 12, Dylan Mercer. Number 20, Jonas Smith. Number 22, Charlie Meeks. Number 32, TJ Westbrook. Now starting five from the Belmont Cardinals. Number two, Austin Caldwell. Number four, Preston Allen. Number 10, Logan Fowler. 14, Connor Allison. Number 23, Colin Pepper. There you have the starting lineup for both ball clubs, the Belmont Cardinals. And once again, the Kasu Vag is about ready to play here. Kennedy died, Dylan Mercer. You got uh, Jonah Smith, Charlie Meeks, and TJ Esri starting for the team in Maroon today. Of course, that's the Kasu Aggies. And Belmont have Colin Peppers. He'll be jumping. You got Connor Allison, Logan Fowler, Preston Allen, Austin Caldwell. Once again, it's Esri and Peppers jumping at midcourt. We're about ready to get this another way. Tip is controlled by the Kossuth Aggies. You know, Belmont beat Kossuth, but a lot of folks thought Kossuth would win this division. They had won it the year before, but uh, Belmont got a big win down at Belmont. Played awesome that night. Yeah. So, uh, so this is uh, going to be a tough game for the Cardinals here tonight. Kasuth driving it down, kicks that ball back out. Driving in the lane, a little running shot up and good. By number 12 is Dylan Mercer. Today's game brought to you by Belmont Pharmacy. Logan Fowler drives in, tries to dish it off to Peppers. Now the ball picked up by the Cardinals, and we're going to have a walk by Preston Allen. Two to nothing the score, 7-16 to go. We're just underway. Kasuth with a two nothing lead. Belmont the home team on the scoreboard. TJ Esri lobs that ball inside to number 12. And 12 has his shot blocked. Now the Cardinals have got an injury. And the Cardinals, Austin Caldwell, went down big time. Caldwell got an elbow big time, apparently. Hogue will check into the ball game. Of course, the official down checking on him. And when I say the officials, they got uh, medical folks here. Connor Allison shoots the long three left side. It's up no good. Hogue with a rebound, kicks it back to Preston Allen. Allen drives it to the basket and puts it up good. Good job by Preston Allen. And with a score four to two, Kasuth with the lead. They've got the basketball. They'll drive it. They go around Allison, put it up. It's no good. Belmont with a rebound. Peppers got it. Good penetration in there, but Charlie Mix, but he couldn't get it to fall. Here come the Cardinals. Logan Fowler. Logan wears number 10. I asked Logan about his hairdo, and he said it was to keep the hair out of his eyes. <laughs> but um, ball was tipped, so it'll not be an over and back against Belmont. Connor Allison with the basketball back to Logan. You can see it on TV. He's got that hair standing straight up in a little. 
don't know what you call it, but Logan said it was to keep his hair out of his eyes, and the Cardinals get another easy basket to tie that one up. Who made that one? Do you know, Randall? Are you watching the game? You're supposed to tell me all these things that I don't know. Four to four the score. They lob it inside to Esri. He gets away and puts it up good. T.J. Esri got away from Colin Peppers in there. And it is now a six to four ball game. Four minutes and uh, five minutes and 30 seconds to go. Six to four, Kasuth. Logan Fowler with the ball on the left wing. Back to the top. Preston Allen shoots the long three. It's up good. Good job by Preston Allen, and Preston's got five points. He's off to a great start. Seven to six, long three. Kasuth, no good. That one missed there by number 12, Dylan Mercer. Here comes Belmont. Belmont, Connor Allison, open for the long three. It's up, no good. He's fouled, and he's going to shoot three, and that foul is going to be against Dylan Mercer. 5.06 to go. Uh, we got first quarter action. Belmont leading 7-6 over Kossuth. Belmont girls has already won their game tonight. And, of course, we will be at the game if Belmont plays Tuesday night, wherever we're going to be there, good Lord willing. So, uh, hopefully Coach Guy Gardner and these Belmont Cardinals can get a win right here and get a little bit better seed on uh, – on uh, Tuesday night. Of course, you always could have upsets and whatever, and you could end up playing the best team regardless, so it doesn't matter. Connor Allison making both free throws for the Cardinals. And it is made two out of three, and uh, Esri gets away on the other end and puts it up good. He's got uh, four points in the ball game. Nine-eighth the score, Belmont bringing it down. Logan Fowler with a basketball. Left side to Connor Allison. Collison on the left wing. Allison drives in traffic and puts it up good, and he's fouled. Good job, Connor Allison, on good penetration of the basket. He's got four points. Today's game live in Boonville, Mississippi, at Northeast Mississippi Community College. Brought to you by Triston Insurance. Free throw no good, but Belmont's got the rebound. Mr. Peppers has got the basketball. Peppers back door to Connor Allison, and Allison puts it up good. Great feed in there to Allison from Colin Peppers. Belmont leads 13 to eight. Belmont didn't play well on Wednesday night as well. And now the ball out of bounds. It'll be Kasuth basketball. Caldwell is back on the floor. I don't, he's holding his nose or whatever with the rag, so maybe his nose is bleeding. He's trying to Stop that some way. On the inbounds, ball kicked out. The long three by Kasuth up and good. So a big three-pointer there by number 10. That is uh, Kennedy Dye. I'm going to tell you what, Kennedy Dye can fill it, fill it up. We got a whistle and a foul in the backcourt against the Kasuth Aggies. Belmont to play at side court. That foul is Charlie Meeks going to be charged for the foul. 15 will check into the ballgame. That's a Darius Moore checking in. Peppers over to Allison. Back to Peppers. Peppers penetrates in, sees an opening to the basket, puts it up no good, got his own rebound, has it blocked. It's out of bounds. Belmont will still have it. Mr. Joe Dan Roberts down there coaching the Kasuth Aggies. Coach Guy Gardner coaching the hometown Belmont Cardinals. Belmont got it in. Another foul against Kasuth. This one is going to go against 15. Oh, Darius Moore on the reach in, and Belmont will go to the line to shoot two. And the free throw is up and good by Colin Peppers. And the next free throw is up and good. Here comes the... Uh, Kasuth Aggies. Might have been a turnover there, but no call. Kennedy Dye on the left wing. Shoots the long three. It's up. It's no good. Esri with the rebound. Esri back to Moore. Moore puts it up good for Kasuth. Good pass from Esri into Moore, and here come the Cardinals. Logan Fowler drives all the way in, has his shot blocked out of bounds. 
Belmont will still have it underneath their own basket, leading 15 to 13. Belmont 15 to 13 lead. Three minutes and 22 seconds to go. Belmont into Peppers. Peppers in the paint. Peppers the shot up, no good. Rebound goes to Kasuth, number 12, Dylan Mercer with a rebound. Here's it, Darius Moore with the basketball. Jonah Smith over on the left side being guarded there by the Cardinals. So Logan Fowler and the ball stripped out of there. Cardinals have got it. Connor Allison with it. Connor blows by everybody and loses control of the basketball as thought he was, might be trying to draw a foul and the defense never did get there so he didn't get a chance to really put that ball in. Cardinals quickly down the floor with the basketball after the missed shot. Connor's got it again. Connors has his shot blocked again and Kasuth has got it. And here comes Kennedy Dye and the Kasuth Aggies. Kasuth, Kennedy Dye with a long three. It's up and good. He's got two in the game. He can fill it up. And Kasuth has roared back to take a 16 to 15 lead. Belmont needs to slow her down a little bit, get a little bit more under control. Make a few passes and uh, got an opportunity. There's Belmont inside turning it over again. Logan Fowler trying to go down to Hogue and the ball got out of bounds and here comes Kasuth with the ball again. 16 to 15 is the score. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here in Boomville. Denisa back at control center. Kennedy die on the left wing. He'll shoot an NBA three, it's short. And he is holding Preston Allen. And guess what? They're going to get him with a foul. Kennedy die with a foul. And Belmont will have the basketball. And Logan Fowler is going to be fouled by Darius Moore in the backcourt. You ever notice that nobody ever commits a foul? <laughs> I mean, nobody. Well, I didn't do that. 16 to 15, Kasuth. Peppers with the ball on the right wing. Drives down, kicks it out. Three-point shot by the Cardinals up and no good. Ball tipped out of there, controlled by the Kasuth Aggies. And Kasuth will bring it out at Darius Moore. Down to Esri. Esri turns, spins in the lane. Shot is up good by T.J. Esri. 18 to 15 the score. And Belmont with the basketball trailing by three with a minute 18 to go first quarter. Belmont and Kasuth in a big battle here. Folks over in Red Bay, you know Red Bay played Kasuth as well. You know what kind of good boys team they got. And we got another whistle down low as the Belmont Cardinals will send Colin Peppers to the line. Peppers free throw is up and good. He is three out of three from the line, got uh, three points. He'll have another shot coming here. It's up and no good. Kasuth with a rebound. It's 18 to 16 right now with 102 to go. Driving it down. The Cardinals got a steal. Peppers got it. Now Peppers in traffic. Has the ball knocked out of bounds. Belmont still going to have it. Good hustle over there by Jonah Smith for Coach Jodan Roberts' Kasuth Aggies. Belmont into Logan Fowler. Fowler around Moore. Lobs it on down the court to Preston Allen. Allen. Drives the baseline, takes it all the way in, puts it up good. Great move to the basket, Preston Allen. Seven points for the Belmont Cardinals. Uh, Preston Allen, 38 seconds to go. We're all tied up. Now the Cardinals have got a steal and a timeout. So the Cardinals got a steal thanks to Connor Allison and with 34.6 seconds to go, the Cardinals We'll get a timeout. It's only a 30-second timeout to talk it over. Today's game brought to you by MedExpress of Red Bay, Dr. William Bush, and, of course, nurse practitioner, Miss Kayla Humphreys. Also, Tri-State Insurance with Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, and Miss Brenda Purser. Don't forget, when you become a customer of ours, you become family. We take the uncertainty out of insurance and make sure you have the protection you need. Now, whether you want to insure a motorcycle, a boat, you farm your business, Guess what? They got you covered. They got a policy that can be tailored to fit you. That's right. Lawson's Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Tri-State Insurance. Also, 
Southeast Surplus, Mr. Edwin Bolden on our broadcast here tonight. Your steel power products headquarters, Belmont with the ball in. Don't forget that your trucking car accessory headquarters as well, Highway 25 South. They do not only sell it, they repair it. And the Belmont Cardinals turn it over. And Logan Fowler is going to be charged with a foul. So Logan let him, Adarius Moore, pick his pocket. Adarius went for the layup. And the Cardinals committed a foul, and Adarius will go to the line with 23 seconds to go. Free throw. Up and good. He'll have another one coming. The next free throw is up. It is no good, and... He steps over the line anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Belmont will take it in. Kyle Suth got a hand on that ball. Belmont's still going to have it. They got to play at the length of the floor almost. 21 seconds to go. Hogue will get that ball in. Got it in to Mr. Peppers. Now to Logan Fowler. Logan bringing it down. Logan to Connor Allison. Allison drives in the paint, drives it all the way and puts it up no good. Great job by Braxton Hogue to keep it alive. Back out top, Peppers, better hurry, pressures is 2.4 seconds and Peppers got a basket for the Cardinals. And, and I'm not for sure that score is right. 19 to 18 is what they got on the board and make it 20 to 19. They finally put it up, Belmont, uh, Belmont, Belmont 20 and Kasuth 19. So Belmont's got a two-point lead. We're live today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay here live on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Couldn't do it without you folks, I promise you that. We'd be in trouble if Denisa wouldn't back there to keep us on the air, wouldn't we? The heart and soul of the operations, is that what you're saying? I believe you're right. She does what? Well, Randall said she writes the checks. That is right. Well, we're about ready to start the uh, second quarter. So Belmont leads with a 20 to 19 lead. Preston Allen down to Connor Allison. Allison puts it up good to start the second quarter. Connor Allison with his eighth point of the ball game. Belmont leads 22 to 19. This is gonna be a great game the entire way. Belmont basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Guess what, Caldwell is back in and Kennedy Dye takes him for the layup. 22 to 21 Belmont. Good to see Caldwell back in there from his injury. But Hope did a wonderful job while he's in there. Good job, Braxton. Connor Allison with the ball down to the baseline. Being guarded by Adarius Moore. Back out top. And the long shot is up by Connor Allison is up and good. Have you ever heard as many coaches in the stands, whether it's the boys game or the girls game, they can always coach better from the stands. They're always trying to tell the coach what to do and what not to do and tell the players what to do and what not to do. And the long shot by Kasuth is up no good. Connor Allison with a rebound. Connor brings it down, right side Peppers. Peppers drives in the paint. Peppers lays it up no good. Got his own rebound, goes back up. He's fouled and he'll shoot two. Belmont leads 25 to 21. Remember, we'd love to hear from you. 662-423-7602 if you'll let us know where you're at and that you are listening to the game. Free throw no good by Allison on his, uh, or rather Peppers. He'll have another one coming. It's up and no good again. So Belmont leads 25 to 21. And Kasuth with the basketball. Jonas Smith, all the left side. Moore shot no good. Belmont with the rebound, Peppers. 
Pepper's outlet to Allison. Allison's going to take it for the layup. It's up and good. Good job, Connor Allison. Allison and the Cardinals got another steal. Now it's loose on the floor. And that had to have been a walk. Kosuth got a timeout. But uh, they're going to get a timeout for Kosuth. He was laying down and rolled with the basketball. Should have been a backcourt. Backcourt. Uh, who, who, 27 to 21. Belmont's got the lead, but Kosuth's going to have the basketball after the timeout. Appreciate you, Eric Montgomery at uh, Eric Montgomery's Construction Company, 423-8425. And also Milligan Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North. Don't forget for all your regular and plus sizes, go to abbeclares.com and you can track down Miss Natalie Griffin Cumber. And I guarantee you she's got some really, really good merchandise. Once again, Natalie Griffin Cumber, Abby Clares, and she is your regular and plus size boutique. Also, Silver Dollar Grocery, Mr. Rick Sparks, located in Golden there. Takes care of all your low prices on your discount groceries, 8 to 6, Monday through Saturday. And also want to shout out today to Randy and Ricky Criddle for, at Brock Insurance. You can call them at 454-9800. Now the Cardinals have got a steal. Long throw down the court to Allison. Allison on the right side, drives down to the baseline, puts it up. Good. I don't know how he made it, but he did. Hunter may be feeling it tonight, I'm telling you. He's already got uh, uh, 8, 10, 12, 15 points in the ball game, and we got 5.45 to go. Esri down to the baseline, shot up by Kasuth is up and good. Number five got that one, who's just checked into the ball game, Dakota Loveless. 29 to 23, and guess what Preston Allen did? Preston Allen just took that ball to the hoop and got his ninth point of the ball game, and Belmont's leads 31 to 23. Kasuth almost lost it over the corner. Now to go to Esri on the left elbow. Jonah drives in, kicks it back. You know what Kennedy and I can do with it. He shoots, it's no good. Belmont with a rebound and coming out of there with it. Here's Preston Allen to Connor Allison. Allison shoots the long three. It's up and good. I'm telling, telling you, he's feeling it. He's got 18 points. And Coach... Uh, Joe Dan Roberts said, man, how in the world can you beat that? 34 to 23. He's got the guys like that guy there can shoot threes. That's Kennedy Dye, but it won't go. Belmont with a rebound. And he tried to save it in. We're talking about uh, Peppers. Dye got it back. So now the Cardinals have got it back. And here comes Belmont with a basketball. And Kasuth with a steal. Belmont Cardinals now steals it back. And we got a whistle and a foul against Kasuth. Boy, got kind of wild down there for a little bit. Belmont's going to go down and shoot free throws. Bodies flying everywhere. They're going to get Kennedy Dye with that foul. Don't forget a big 30% off sale February the 23rd and 24th. All the clothing and shoes are going to be 30% off at twice around consignment. And Belmont on Highway 25 South. Mitzi Wood there and Miss Misty Hogan. Free throw is up by the Cardinals. Peppers at the line, it's up and good. Peppers got one, two, three, four, six points. Peppers next shot is up good. Peppers has got seven right now. Belmont leads 36 to 23 with 420 to go. Esri with the ball. Esri a little fade away, it's up and good. Good job by TJ Esri. Coach Guy Gardner, you got to be pleased with the way the team's come out performing here tonight. 4.07 to go. I, I told somebody that, well, I told one of the coaches, I thought, I thought uh, Kasuth's got a steal and we're going to get a foul against Peppers. But uh, I told one of the coaches, I think that Belmont left their team, boys and girls, and Dennis on the way down to Boonville Wednesday night. And. Uh, I asked them, I said, what happened? And they said, we didn't show up. And, uh, but they have showed up tonight in much better fashion. 36 to 25, 355 to go. Esri will shoot a three as we back off of him and he shoots it and makes it good. Esri's got two, four, six, eight, 11 points in the game for Kasuth. It's now it's 36 to 28, Connor Allison. Baseline pulls up jumper, it's up, no good. Rebound backside, Kasuth. 
Kosuth getting the rebound with Charlie Meeks. Now the baseline, number five, his shot no good. Peppers is cleaning the boards out good, isn't he? Here's Logan Fowler with the basketball. Logan dribbling down the right side, blows down. We'll dribble it back out and get it off to Peppers. Peppers goes to the corner to Preston Allen. Allen drives in and has the ball stripped away and it's out of bounds and it should belong to Belmont. You gotta be kidding. They send it one off of Preston Allen. I think he might have been the only person in the building that uh, thought that, but 36 to 28 with 3.02 to go. Kasuth down to TJ Esri. Esri in the lane, the ball stolen away for a minute. Kasuth had it. Now Kasuth did get it back. 20 will shoot a long three. It's up good. That'll make it 36 to 31. Belmont a free throw line jump shot, no good. Five people in the rebound to for Kasuth zero. Of course, Belmont took a quick shot and nobody was down all down the floor. And that was the reason. Now we got a whistle and a foul against Belmont. Got to have somebody in there rebound. 36 to 31 is the score. And Kosuth had made a little run to come back in this one after Belmont had went into double digits. We're down to the 231 mark of the second quarter. Belmont leads 36 to 31 over the Kosuth Aggies. I'm Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay here for the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, an honor to be able to do the games. We will be live uh, down in the big city of where we don't know, Monday. Belmont uh, girls won their game tonight, if you're listening out there. 42 to 29, 42 to 29, 42 29. Right now the Belmont boys lead 36 to 31. Today's game brought to you by great sponsors like Dunny Joe Sparks. Good luck to the Cardinals tonight from your Justice Court judge on the south end. By the Fish Place, open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 4 to 8. Now serving the best chicken and some of that great catfish, best you'll find anywhere, 454-7188. Also Sunshine Mills, makers of that great cat food and dog food. By Grace Long Real Estate on our broadcast. And the shot up by the Kasuth Aggies is no good. Belmont with a rebound, 36 to 31. Logan Fowler with the basketball. Over to Connor Allison, 2.11 to go. Connor on the left wing, looks for help. Got it back out to Braxton Hogue. Hogue back to Logan Fowler. Fowler goes around, drives it up, puts it up good. Logan's got a way of finding how to get that in the, in the hoop. That's his first basket of the game, but Logan's been having some really good games, not only just playing uh, his usual role, but uh, scoring as well. 38-31, Cardinals playing them tight, man. They drive it back door to Esri, it's no good. Peppers might have got a hand on that one, and, Hess, and Peppers got it, and here come the Cardinals with a minute 34 to go, leading 38-31. And Fowler almost in some traffic there, over to Braxton Ho, almost lost it. Long shot in the corner by the Cardinals, Connor Allison, and it's up and good. Connor's got 21 points for the Cardinals. 41 Belmont, 31, they lob it inside. The Cardinals, Braxton Hogue has got a steal. Here comes Connor Allison. Allison drives around, puts it up, no good. Rebounds got it, Charlie Meeks got it. And here comes the Kasu Thaggies with the number 20, Jonah Smith with the ball. Back over to Esri, Esri way out front. We're at the 52 second mark. Taking it down to Esri, Esri inside, dishes off. And we're gonna have a whistle and a foul against the Cardinals as number 22, Charlie Meeks, was fouled. And the free throw by Kosuth is up and good. Charlie Meeks, he'll have another one. Cole Montgomery will check into the ball game for Belmont, checking out he is 23 peppers. And the Meeks free throw is up and good. That'll make it 41 to 33. Belmont gets it in, 45 seconds to go. Logan Fowler across the timeline. Fowler in some traffic there, drives all the way in, dishes off Cole Montgomery. Montgomery puts it up, his block. Controlled by Kosuth with 32 seconds to go. 
Here come the Aggies with the basketball. Kasuth and Belmont. Belmont leads 41 to 33, 41 to 33. Watch out for Dalton Loveless down low, number five. Or TJ Esri. They got it spread out. Cole Montgomery out there on number 22, Charlie Meeks. Meeks trying to hand it off. Four seconds to go. Now they'll shoot a long three. It's up and no good. And that will be the end of the first half. <laughs> Belmont led 20 to 19 at the end of the first quarter and now lead 41 to 33, 41 to 33. Today's game brought to you by Runny Cook, your modern woodman agent, Redbud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne, also Napa Auto Parts in Belmont, Mr. Phil, Terry, and Brian there. H&R Block of Iuka Red Bay Fulton by Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff by your hometown, Piggly Wiggly in Belmont, Iuka Red Bay by Grace Long Real Estate by Sid's Trading Company, your Branson dealer on Highway 25 South in Iuka, 424-0025. If you're listening to our broadcast right now, I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. Thanks to Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi, Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. Also, big shout out today to Higginbottom's Family Restaurant, Lachey, Jeffrey, and Stella. Don't forget Friday night and Saturday night is seafood night. On Sunday, the lunch buffet at Higginbottom's Family Restaurant. Also, Gina McNatch, your tax collector on our broadcast today. Wildflowers, Dusty and Misty Brandon, or D Dustin and Missy Brandon, I should say at 305 Second Street on Highway 25 South. And of course, you can call them at 454-1033 for whatever the occasion might be. A lot of great gift items, a lot of unique items at Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Also, Joey Moore and all the staff at Southside Auto Sales on a broadcast next to the car wash, 454-9789. You're in the market for a used automobile that's uh, any price point you're looking for, they can take care of you, whether it's a car, truck, SUV, they'll find what you want and get you the great deal at Southside Auto Sales. Big shout out today to Redmond Heating and Cooling. Also, Daniel Sparks on a broadcast. Of course, Daniel, you know, former Belmont Cardinal. Patrick Brooks, of course, the man to see at Redmond Heating and Cooling. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. Don't forget uh, Misty Hogan and Mitzi Wood. Great low prices on all kinds of designer brands available at Twice Around Consignment Highway 25 South in Belmont. And of course, they got your jewelry, the shoes, the decor, furniture, electronics, CDs, DVDs. They sell everything at Twice Around. Also, Eric McDowell at EMI Inflatables and Fireworks, Bounce House Combos. You got your water slides, obstacle courses, biggest selection in North Mississippi, and the largest inventory on top of that. Give him a call for your next great event, 662 660 4029. Good luck to the Cardinals tonight from EMI Inflatables. We're live in Booville at Northeast Mississippi Community College. The Belmont Cardinals lead right now 41 to 33. Belmont girls won tonight 42 to 29. 42 to 29. We'll be on the road with the girls somewhere Monday and on the road with the boys somewhere Tuesday. We just don't know. And as soon as we find out 100% after the games are played, guess what? We'll let you know. 41 to 33, Belmont at halftime. This is Belmont basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay back at Northeast Mississippi Community College. Belmont Lady Cardinals win over Kasu tonight, 42-29. Right now, the Belmont boys with a 41-33 lead. Kasu will get the ball to start the second half. Belmont to start Austin Caldwell, Preston Allen, 
Logan Fowler, Connor Allison, and Mr. Colin Peppers to start the second half. Today's game brought to you by Donnie Trotter and Deborah Farr down at Insurance Services along with Keith Henley and HenleyProperties.com down at Tommy Morgan and along with Triple D's Bucket Service. And we're back to action. Kosuth, a long three-point shot right side. It's up and good. Number 20 knocking it down is Jonah Smith, his second three of the night to make it 41 to 36. And now uh, Preston Allen is going to be charged with a walk. So Kosuth is going to get it right back as they've cut that lead from 41 to 33 to 41, 36. Appreciate Laugh and Learn Clubhouse. Uh, Pre-K owner, uh, of course, Devin Funderburg there. They're on Highway 25 South in Belmont. Six weeks to 12 years. Shot up no good. Belmont a nice, nice, nice block and a long throw down the court to Preston Allen. Allen will shoot a three. It's up in the corner. No good. Rebound goes to Kosuth. Getting that rebound was Loveless. And here comes Kosuth back with 7.21 to go. Shot is up by Kosuth. No good. Belmont with a rebound. With a rebound is Peppers. Long throw down the court to Connor Allison. Allison drives in, puts it up off the glass, no good. Got his own rebound. He's going to dribble it on out. So Connor Allison will bring that ball back out, give it to Fowler, and the Cardinals will reset it up. Now they go down, blow, and it's up and good by Connor Allison. Allison has got 23 points in the game, 43 to 36, 43 36, Belmont. He is on top. Kennedy Dye sees an opening to the basket, drives all the way in, puts it up no good. He's fouled. Did he get uh, Allen? 43 to 36 with 6.40 to go, and Kennedy Dye is at the free throw line for Kasu. He's got eight points of the game. His free throw is up and no good. Belmont leads 43-36, 6.40 to go third quarter. Possession error pointing in favor of Belmont if there's a tie-up. <clears throat> Here come the Cardinals after the made free throw by Dye. Allen drives all the way down, kicks it back to Logan. Logan sees an opening to the basket, drives in, fakes, puts it up no good. Might have been partially blocked, and Kasuth comes up with the ball. 43-37, Kasuth Kennedy Dye. Across the timeline for the Aggies. Coach Guy Gardner got these Cardinals playing well tonight against Coach Joe Dan Roberts. Coach Joe Dan keeps up with us on all of our videos and stuff and watches us a lot. We really appreciate that. I know Coach Guy Gardner watches them all the time. And the Cardinals take it down the court with Connor Allison again. And he has got 25 points in the game. 45 to 37. Belmont with the lead. Kennedy Dye with a long three. It's up no good. Rebound goes to Loveless. Back to Esri. Esri on the left wing being guarded by Caldwell. Goes inside to Loveless. Loveless missed the easy shot. And Peppers got it. Peppers pushing it up the court. Peppers is not stopping. Peppers lays it no good. He's foul. And we'll see who 2 0 is going to be charged with the foul. That's a Jonah Smith going to be charged. Told you about Laugh and Learn Clubhouse and Pre-K. Don't forget they accept ages six weeks to 12 years, so they can keep your kiddos for a long time. Remember that, Randall, when you have some kids? First free throw by the Cardinals is up and good by Peppers. He'll have another one coming. It's up and good. Peppers has got nine points in the game. And right now, T.J. Esri is working, drives into the lane, dishes off to Loveless. Loveless got the easy basket. Good feed in there by the Kosuth Aggies. And here comes the Cardinals leading by 8, 47 to 39. Connor Allison with the ball. Allison at the free throw line, pulls up, jump shot at short. Rebound goes to Kosuth. Kosuth, here they come in a hurry. Number 20 drives it down, and they're going to get Austin Caldwell with a foul. Jack Ivey, Randall, Lindsay live here tonight on WRMG. 
TV 12, TV 97. We'll say hello to all the folks that are listening to the game on 97.9 FM, AM 1430. TV 12, TV 97, and online at WRMGradio.com. Driving it in. Stops, turns around, pulls it up. Good. Kasuth with a basket. Charlie Meeks got it. And that'll make it 47-41. Allison, the long three for the Cardinals. No good. And now a foul on a reach in by Peppers. Not a good foul for Colin. He was a 75-plus feet away from the basket on the other end. He did that little reach in trying to swipe it. And now he'll have to come out. And Hogue will check in. 47 to 41. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here today. Driving the baseline, kicking the ball back out to Loveless. Off to Kennedy Dye. Dye will penetrate a little bit. Now he goes to the baseline, he drives it in, kicks it off to his teammate. Charlie Mix and Mix put it in good. Good penetration, a little dish off there and good finish there by Charlie Mix. Logan Fowler being guarded by Mix to Caldwell. Caldwell gets it back out to Connor. Connor in the lane, puts it up, blocking foul, and he got the basket. How did Connor Allison make that one? I don't know. Connor's only got 27 points in the game. You're, you're at 27 already, 3.51 to go. And we are in quarter number three, 3.51 to go. Connor's free throw is up, it's no good. And a violation against the Cardinals. 49 to 43, so does not get the free throw. Belmont's got a six point lead with 3.45 to go. Charlie Meeks with the wall. Back out to Loveless. Loveless working one-on-one -on -one with Caldwell. Hands off to Die. He's being guarded there by Preston Allen on the left wing. Kennedy Die wears number 10. He's had um, three, six, eight, nine points in the game, and he drives and puts it up good. He's got 11 now for the Aggies. He cuts it to a four-point lead, 49 to 45. Long NBA plus three, way out there by Connor Allison, no good. Belmont, got to be, oh, we got a pushing foul on the Cardinals. They're going to get uh, Austin Caldwell. Looks like Pepper is going to check back into the ball game. Geno Thorne said you're still coming in good. I want to say hello to Mr. Bobby McAlpin and all the folks out there listening. We're back to action here, 49-45 and a double dribble against Kasu. Number 20 charged with a violation is Jonah Smith. Belmont gets it into Logan Fowler. Logan pushing that ball up the court. So we're down at the 250 mark. Logan drives inside the lane, has a shot blocked, controlled by Kasuth. Two minutes and 41 seconds to go. Here's Kasuth kicking it back to Esri. Now the Kennedy die on the right side. Cross court pass to Meeks. Meeks penetrates in, now kicks it back out, and Kasuth has turned it over. We're going to get it back. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of any of these games we've done this season, what a great graduation present, great uh, birthday present, Christmas present. They've had some really, really, really great games this year, and we'd like to fix you up with some. There's Logan driving in, puts it up no good, and Mr. Peppers puts it up good. Good job, Colin. We Got him back in the ball game pretty quick. Long three-point shot, no good. There's Peppers with another big rebound. Peppers is so valuable on the floor, not only scoring, but those big rebounds. He'll take it coast to coast. Kicks it out to Preston Allen. Connor Allison. Allison shoots the three. It's up good. Connor Allison knocking them down here tonight. 54 Belmont, 45, and Kasuth wants a timeout. 30 points in the game for Connor Allison with a minute 40 to go. 
in the third quarter. Belmont 54 to 45, 54 to 45. And today's game live here on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Today's game brought to you by Greg Collier. He making progress one day at a time. Really appreciate your support. Also, Mr. Haskell Sparks, located in Belmont and Tishomingo, takes care of all your storage needs. 423-8767. Stanley Page is down at Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo. Takes care of all your prescriptions, and he, he does it right, no doubt about it, Gatlin's Pharmacy. Farm View agent Mike Harris, helping you is what we do best, life, home, auto disability, health, IRAs, Medicare supplements, and much, much more. 454-9624, it's Farm Bureau age at Mike Harris. He takes care of Tishomingo County. Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals on a broadcast, along with DC Cycle and Racing over in Red Bay. That's David and Katie Crane by Dr. Steve Center at the Center Family Medical Clinic, the Belmont Hotel, along with Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end, and Belmont steals the inbounds pass. And now Belmont lets them steal it right back. Now the ball's loose on the floor. There's going to end up being a jump. And Belmont gets a timeout. It is going to be a jump. It doesn't, well, that'd be good if Belmont's going to get the ball anyway. Now there's a big confusion down there. Belmont got the timeout. There was a jump. The arrow was pointing in favor of Belmont. Now there's a question on the, the air is pointing for, toward Belmont. Are they gonna say the arrow was wrong? So they're gonna give it to Kyle Suth, explain that. So there was a tie up. Air was pointing in favor of Belmont, but they give it to Kyle Suth. Coach Joe Dan Roberts said, hey, I'll tell you. Coach uh, Guy Gardner says, you got to be kidding. I'm going to watch the uh, arrow down there after they let them take it in. Belmont leads 54-45 with a minute 33 to go. And they're going to leave the arrow in favor of Belmont. So man, now Kasu turns it over. Here comes Belmont, Logan Fowler with the basketball. Braxton Hogue, 15 footer, it's up and good. What a shot by Braxton Hogue. So the Cardinals now lead by 11, 56, 45. Little baseline jumper by Kasuth, it's up and good. Good job. And Belmont drives it in. Logan Fowler kicks it back to Braxton. Now to the Cardinals 23, and he is going to be charged with a foul. Or not with a foul, but uh, a walk. So the ball will belong to Kasuth on a Belmont turnover. 50 seconds to go third quarter. Belmont 56 and Kasuth 47. Belmont with a nine-point lead with 44 seconds to go. Today's game brought to you by J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator. Driving in is Kyle Suth, a little baseline shot, no good. Connor Allison with the rebound. Connor down the floor, a long one to Preston Allen. Allen has to bring it back out, kicks it back to Connor. He's open for the three. It's up, it's way off. But guess what? Preston Allen has got it, puts it up, no good. He's foul. Good job there. Well, I'll tell you what, Connor Allison, has he not had a game tonight? He's got 30 points for the Belmont Cardinals. Belmont leads 56 to 47, and Preston Allen has had a great game for the Cardinals tonight. He's got nine points. He can go double figures right here, and his free throw is in and out, no good. <laughs> 56 to 47, and the free throw is up. It's no good. If Belmont had kept somebody in there to rebound, they got that rebound. 56, 47, 18 seconds to go. Driving in is Esri. Esri puts it up, it's no good. Esri with a rebound. Esri goes back up and Belmont, Colin Peppers is gonna be charged with a foul. Caldwell will check back into the ball game. I'm sure Peppers will be the one to come out.
56 to 47. And the free throw no good. Caldwell will check in. Belmont leads with 11.5 seconds to go in the third quarter. New Sight girls and Boonville girls for the championship tonight. New Sight and Boonville boys for the championship. Free throw no good. Belmont with a rebound. Seven seconds to go. Here's Connor Allison with the ball. Five seconds. Three. Connor drives. Sees an opening to the basket. Puts it up. No good. And that is the end of the third quarter. Well, Belmont leads 56 to 47. So Belmont led by 12 after halftime, now leads by nine after three quarters. So Rigney's and the Disco Ducks. It's been a long time since I heard that one. Belmont ladies won tonight 42 to 29. 42-29. Don't forget, uh, Monday night we'll be on the road with the Lady Cardinals somewhere, and Tuesday night on the road with the boys, unless they ended up having to play each other for some reason or another, or when I say each other, the, both teams playing the same team, like Belma Jackson or Amanda Elsie or something like that, and then they might try to play them both the same night. So looking like two trips. You gonna be able to make any of those trips, Randall? You don't have to eat, do you? Huh? Well, Belmont will get the ball to start the fourth quarter. Braxton Hogue, Logan Fowler. Connor Allison out there, Preston Allen. Caldwell, Peppers is not out there. He's in foul trouble. So the Cardinals got to play smart, hang on to this lead, milk a little clock, score, make free throws. Connor Allison, free throw line, pulls up, jump shot, no good. Rebound goes to the Kasuth Aggies. We got to hang on to this lead and get out of here with a win and have to play the number two seed out of somewhere. Long three-point shot, it's up and good. Kennedy dying. I'm telling you, Preston Allen was out on her, on him. And that is Kennedy's uh, 14th point of the ball game. And now Belmont just turned it over. Well, I don't know, it's got an over and back, so that's gonna be an over and back. So Kasuth will have it. So Belmont not only gives up a three, but now turns it over. And only down, only up by six. So how long with, uh, Will he be able to keep uh, Colin Peppers on the bench with four fouls? Driving in is Meeks. Meeks kicks it out to Davis. Back to Esri. Esri penetrates in a little bit, pulls up with about a 15-footer, and it's up and good. So Esri's got 13, and Belmont's lead is now down to four. Allen drives it, kicks it out to Connor. Connor to Caldwell. Caldwell with a three. It's up and good. Connor Caldwell knocking it down. Not Connor, Austin Caldwell. I don't know why I call him Connor. 59 to 52. He'll remind me. 59 to 52. And Kennedy Dye drives in. No good. And a foul against the Cardinals. They're going to get uh, Preston Allen with that one. They have got Peppers at the table to come in. Die at the free throw line, it's up and good. I'm sure he went down there and whispered in his ear or said, hey, you got to stay on the floor. You can't get that next foul. Braxton Hogue getting some fives as he comes to the score back to the table there. Kennedy Die making the free throws. It's now 59 to 54, 59 to 54. Belmont with Preston Allen on the right wing. Preston drives in. Kicks it back to Hogue, or not Hogue, but uh, Logan Fowler. Fowler drives it out. Now back down to Preston Allen. Allen drives in, puts it up good. Great job, Preston Allen. 11 points now for Preston Allen. Belmont leads 61 to 54, six minutes to go. And we have got a foul on the floor over here in the corner. They're gonna get Preston Allen with a foul there.
live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We'll appreciate you being with us. And looks like it's going to be one and one. It'll be one and one. Kennedy Dye will go to the line. And the free throw is up by Kennedy. It's up and good. Kennedy with one, two, three, six, 17 points in the game. And the free throw by Dye is up and good. Sixty-one to fifty-six, and the Cardinals turn it over again. But the Cardinals now steal it back. So Caldwell steals it back, and there's Peppers, and a lot of traffic falls down. And Kasuth has got the steal back with five forty-eight to go. Now the Cardinals steal it back, and a foul against Kasuth. My goodness, it went back and forth. Belmont ended up with it. Belmont was fouled. Belmont to play at side court with Caldwell will throw it in for the Cardinals. Gets it into Connor Allison. Allison down in the corner. And uh, Cardinals just turned it over again. Connor Allison's throw way high. Threw it all the way in the backcourt. Logan ran it down, but. So the Cardinals making some mistakes here down the stretch but still leads 61 to 56 with 5.35 to go. This is a good Kossuth ball club. It's gonna take every inch of effort on both ends of the floor. There's Meeks driving it in. Meeks looks, kicks it back to Esri. Esri pulls up about a 15 footer. It's up no good. And Peppers with a rebound and Peppers is fouled by Adarius Moore. So Belmont will bring it down with 5.18 to go. Belmont still not in a one and one. I can't see the uh, table on where the fouls are. Connor Allison drives toward the basket, puts it up, good. Good job, Connor Allison. Allison makes it 63-56. He's got 32 points in the game for Belmont. Kennedy die the long three, air ball out of bounds, give it to the Cardinal. So Belmont, We'll have to play it the length of the floor with 4.58 to go. You wonder how big this win is tonight? You play the number one seed and the Cardinals almost turned that ball over again. We're getting reckless with that ball. Connor Allison open for the three in the corner. It's up, it's no good. Got his own rebound, great rebound, Connor. He'll kick it back out and the Cardinals will reset it. 4.42, back that ball up. Take a minute, a second or two off the clock. Logan foul over the ball, being guarded by number 22, Meeks. Logan, great ball handler for the Cardinals. He's fouled by T.J. Esri. Belmont will play at side court. So Belmont with the ball in, 4.29 to go. Peppers back out to Logan Fowler. Belmont leads 63-56. Caldwell, left side to Fowler. Fowler down to Peppers. Peppers puts it up and good. Peppers with seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 points for Peppers now. Belmont leads 65 to 56, 65 to 56, four minutes to go. Today's game brought to you by Community Spirit Bank and also the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Loveless drives it in, puts it up no good. Caldwell there to Get a hand up, and he shot it a little bit too high. Here's Logan bringing it down. Belmont with 3.45 to go, and Logan is going to be fouled. Should be one and one now for the Cardinals. Appreciate Joe's in and out. Highway 25 South in Belmont, a brand new business. Not open too long, but I'll tell you what, folks, I've known old Joe McKinney a long time, and you know Mr. Ken Delaney and his wife, their daughter Michaela is married up with old Joe McKinney, and they got a beautiful family, got a little boy there, and They've opened up Joe's in and out and doing a wonderful job. First free throw by Fowler is good. Belmont up by 10, make it up by 11 as Logan Fowler gets two out of two. Belmont 67 to 56, 340 to go. 340 to go, Esri back out to Meeks. Meeks dribbling around out top. Picked up there by Allison. He'll drive it all in and lost control of the basketball and it was tipped 
and Belmont will have it. Joe's in and out. Uh, you say, what do they do, Jack Ivey? Well, they do all change, of course. They do brake work, they do shocks, they do tire rotations, change your wiper blades and filters, and, and a foul against Kasuth as Belmont tried to go back door to Preston Allen. Preston's going to go to the line to shoot two. Preston's got 11 points. They, of course, provide the community and the surrounding area with high quality auto service, centering around great value. And, of course, for our customers, the best products available. We got a timeout. 3.22 to go in the game. Belmont leads by 11 over Kasuth. Let me give you the number for Joe and Michaela McKinney down at Joe's In and Out. They're located across from Tiffin Motorhomes, the Belmont plant on the south end of town. And they're located right next to Southeast Surplus and right next to Laugh and Learn. Joe McKinney and Michaela. 662-479-5066. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 on Saturday, 8 to 1. And we're talking about Joe's In and Out. Full service auto maintenance, Highway 25 South in Belmont. <coughs> Appreciate heart and heating and cooling, Allen and Nash. Your York dealer, Matt Guam in your Tishomingo County corner. Also, Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast. Old Peyton Cummings, your chancery clerk. Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse over in Red Bay. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County sheriff, along with Belmont Pharmacy. Come on, Preston Allen. Allen's free throw is up. It's no good. He's got another one coming. He's got 11 points in the ball game. They've been a big 11, too. 67-56, another free throw is up. It's no good. Three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Kasuth with a rebound. 20 drives all the way in for the layup. Nobody picked him up. Jonah Smith gets his 3-6-8, 10th point of the ball game. Here come the Cardinals. Fowler down to the Cardinals, and Belmont will kick it back out with 3-0, 2 to go. 67-58 with 2.54 to go. Belmont with a basketball with 2.45 to go. Milkins and clock. Logan Fowler right down the middle of the lane. Goes to Peppers. Not Peppers, but Austin Caldwell. And Caldwell pulls up a little soft jumper, and it's up and good. His fifth point of the ball game. Belmont 69-58. to Belmont hanging on to that 11-point lead. Kennedy Dye, double team. Works that ball right side to Meeks. Meeks will penetrate in. Goes around, kicks it to Loveless. Loveless puts it up good. Dalton Loveless gets his sixth point of the ball game. Belmont to bring it down, leading by nine, and turning it over. Pass too high, and the Cardinals steal it back, thanks to Caldwell. Hold it up a little bit, Coach said, hey, slow it down. And there's Connor Allison driving, put it up, no good. Not the best shot selection for Connor on that one, 69 to 60. Long shot by Kasuth is up and good. It's a three-pointer. 13 points now for Jonah Smith, 69 to 63. I would have liked to have seen us milk a little clock on that last trip. I'm coaching from the stands now. Logan Fowler with the basketball. 69 to 63 with a minute 30 to go. There's a lot of coaches in the stands. No question about it. Logan drives in, nobody picks him up, and he goes for the layup, it's up and good. Logan gets his sixth point of the ball game. We needed that basket, Logan Fowler. Belmont 71-63 with a minute 13 to go. Loveless inside, puts it up off the glass, no good. Belmont with a rebound, and Kasuth knocking it out of bounds. Belmont still gonna have it with 105 to go. And Belmont wants a timeout. So Belmont gets a timeout with 105 to go. 105 to go. Belmont 71. 
and Kasuth 63, 71 to 63. And if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, don't forget Monday night, wherever they're at, we're going to be there. Tuesday, we're going to be there. The girls are going to play Monday night somewhere. And unless they played the same team, boys and girls, some crazy reason there, they'd probably play it on the same night. But right now, that doesn't look like a possibility, but it could be. But right now, wherever the girls are at Monday night, we will be there. Wherever the boys are at Tuesday night, we'll be there. And that will be for an opportunity to ease down on in the state playoffs. They've ch they're actually taking three teams to Jackson, you know, where they was just doing two. They're actually playing on – actually, they used to play that other game in the north half, but they're playing it in Jackson now. Of course, you know, they like all of them, and Jackson as many as possible. So not playing any less games or whatever, but they just playing – playing a, a, one of those games down in Jackson. Belmont will have the basketball. Belmont gets it into Connor Allison with the 103 to go. Over to Peppers. Belmont got a timeout and Coach Guy Gardner talked it over. I'm sure he'd like to milk some clock, not turn this ball over. They're going to have to foul us. They foul Connor Allison. With 53 seconds to go, Connor will go to the line to shoot. Come on, Connor Allison. Connor's got 32 points in the ball game. And the free throw by Connor is up and good. And the next free throw by Connor is up. It is no good, so he made one out of two. 72-63, 48 seconds to go. Meeks drives all the way down. For the layup, it's up and good, and Kasuth gets a timeout. Good vibe, Charlie Meeks. I know the Cardinals definitely didn't want to foul there, so Kasuth does cut it to 72-65 with 45 seconds to go. This is game is big as you don't want to be having to play a number one seed uh, on Tuesday night. Still, you're going to play a number two seed, but uh, unless there was an upset or something like that. But right now, we got 45 seconds to go, 45.8 to be exact. It is the Belmont Cardinals leading 72-65, 72-65. seconds to go. Jack Ivey, Randall, Lindsey Belmont will play at the length of the floor, full court press. Belmont finally gets it in to Connor Allison. Allison comes out of there and he's fouled with 43 seconds to go. Seventy-two sixty-five. New site girls, Boonville girls playing next for the division championship. That'll be followed by New Site and Boonville boys. And the free throw by Connor Allison is up and good. He'll have another one coming. 34 points for Allison. The next free throw, no good. 73 to 65. 73, 65, 35 seconds. They shoot a long three. It's up, no good. The rebound. And Kasu saves it before it goes out of bounds. They take it to Loveless. Loveless puts it up. He's foul and will make the basket. And guess who fouled out of the game? Colin Peppers. Fouls out of the game. Braxton Hogue will check in. That makes it 73-67. Going to the line is Loveless, and Loveless will shoot a free throw. It's up in no good. Belmont had the rebound, but Kasuth knocked it out of bounds. So we're going to have it with 27 seconds to go. So Belmont's got it, get it, get it in. Belmont's gotten good ball handers, so I feel comfortable if they get it in. Logan Fowler's got it now. And Logan gets it down across the timeline, and he is fouled by number 20, Jonah Smith. And I believe that's all for Jonah. Live coverage here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. 73 to 68, or 73 67 is our score. 23 seconds to go. 
Belmont will go to the line. Logan Fowler putting it up. It's up and no good. Belmont's missed three free throws here in the last few seconds. Connor missed a couple, and Logan missing this one. Got to have it. Logan, this free throw is up. It's good. So Logan makes one out of two. And with the score being 74 to 67, make it 74 69. 74 69. And we got a timeout. 16 seconds to go. It didn't take Kosuth long to cut that lead down to five. So Belmont with the basketball leading 74 65. 74 65. We're live on the air here. Don't forget a big 30% off sale February 23rd, 24th. All shoes and clothes, 30% off at twice around consignment. That's how we 25 South in Belmont. Belmont Pharmacy on our broadcast today, Bill Donald Weatherford Pound Moore. Don't forget they got that digital kiosk photo maker. Also Wood Industries, Jeff and Ingrid Wood. Don't forget the manufacturer and distributor of top of the line quality air compressors, air tubes, parts and accessories. Also Tri-State Insurance of Belmont and Red Bay. Brenda Purser, of course, over in Red Bay. Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore over in Belmont. Med Express, that's Dr. William Bush and Kayla Humphreys. Also Southeast Surplus, Mr. Edwin Bolden. Also Abby Clares, Natalie Griffin Cumber. Your regular and plus size boutique. Milligan Ready Mix all on a broadcast here tonight along with Montgomery Construction Company. That's Eric Montgomery and we got a quick foul against Kasu. And Connor Allison will go to the line. Eric, thank you so much. 423-8425, Silver Dollar Grocery, Rick Sparks down in Golden. Randy and Ricky Criddle at Brock and Criddle Insurance in Belmont, 454-9800. And also, Dunny Joe Sparks, your justice court judge. Come on, Connor. 14.9 seconds to go. The free throw is up and good. Belmont, 75-69. You make free throws. 75-69. And the free throw is up. It's no good. We missed another. Connor's missed... Uh, about three free throws down the stretch. They'll shoot a long three with nine seconds to go. It's up no good. We're going to win the ball game. Kasuth has got it. Now Belmont's got it. Now Kasuth saves it in. One second to go. We're going to win it. 75 to 69 is going to be your final score. Belmont 75 to 69. 75 to 69. Congratulations, Belmont girls tonight. Win 42-29. Belmont girls win tonight 42-29. And the Belmont boys win tonight 75-69. Belmont tonight, Preston Allen with 11 points. Logan Fowler with 2-4-6-7. Uh, Connor Allison tonight with 2-3-4-5. Let me make sure I got this right. 35 points. That's unofficial, of course. 7-8-9-10. Uh, 12, uh, let's see, 7-8-9-10. 11, 13 points for Colin Peppers, five for Austin Caldwell. Braxton Hogue got two. Belmont wins it once again, 75 to 69, and the boys, girls win 42-29. That is going to wrap up a broadcast here tonight. Thanks to uh, Coach Guy Gardner and all the Belmont coaching staff, and also Coach Joe Dan Roberts and all the folks at Kasuth. We appreciate all your hospitality and help as well. We couldn't do without you. I promise that. 75-69, Belmont. We'll be heading out of town Monday and Tuesday covering these Cardinals. You just uh, check out my Facebook page. Listen, if when they, whenever we play, turn it on uh, WRMGradio.com. Turn it on 97.9 FM. Turn it on AM 1430. We're going to have the game on for you, I promise, okay? Good Lord William, if he wants us to be there, we'll be there, and I promise you we're going to make every effort as we can to have the games on for you. Thanks to all of our sponsors. If you would like to sponsor uh, the next round games, We'll give you a good deal, I promise. We need more sponsors to help us uh, make these trips and pay all these fees. If you want to send me a message and, hey, Jack, I'm interested in sponsoring the game. How much is it? Send me a message, 423-7602-662-423-7602. Give you the number one more time, 662-423-7602. You can message me on Facebook. We'll get it. We need more sponsors, and we haven't got much time to get them because the girls play Monday night, the boys play Tuesday night. Girls win tonight, 42-29. The boys win 75-69. It's a Belmont sweep against the Aggies tonight for Randall and Denise back at Control Center. I'm Jack Ivey saying good night from Northeast Mississippi Community College here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company.